we are trying with my Xbox today. So I, I went to look up uh, if there were anything special I had to do with the Elgato card to get it to my computer, and the person demoing it in the YouTube video I watched had moved the Xbox next to the computer, and I was like, oh, well, that's what I gotta do. That's way easier than my plan. I had prepared to run these giant HDMI cables across my house, uh, and yeah, just picked up this little thing and moved it over here. Way simpler. Let me know if you guys can hear me, because uh, this is new a new setup. I also am curious if we've got um, like duplicated audio because of the way I had to set up this capture card. So please let me know how we sounded. Suddenly, voice. Hello, John Smith. All right, how's the, how's the, is the uh, mix good? Can you guys hear the game okay and me clearly over it? That was <laughs> scary. <laughs> Oh, hey, bro. Sounds good. Single audio, sound is good. Awesome. All right. So I'm not, I'm gonna actually start while we have this few extra few minutes before uh, we uh, get to the nine o'clock. I'm gonna start a fresh game for this. Probably gonna have to delete a lot of saves because I probably have old saves on here. Although I shouldn't, unless they're does does uh does Xbox store your saves in the cloud? Because I had to reformat this thing because it was I had thought it was like toast, and then before I asked somebody, and then I asked you guys like, hey, has anybody got an extra one? And then I was like, you know what, I should probably try factory defaulting it first, and I did that, and suddenly it worked. So, uh, but yeah, we're gonna try and play uh, SS2 and make sure that every and make sure that. Things are working generally. Like one of the most common things on uh, the forums right now is that for Xbox players are are saying that Jake's not showing up, and that's obviously a big big problem. So I want to see if we have the same same issue here. Uh, and then if we get if we get it working, I'm gonna just play through the story. Probably gonna like hyper skip through dialogue because you, there's other playthroughs I've already done with that. Like the focus here is gonna be. You know, tinker with the settings for Xbox. Um, make sure that the mechanics generally work and things like that. So we're not focused Warriors. on playing through story as much as like making sure that the the story works. Like we want to be able to get the quest objectives done and plots built and all that fun stuff. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the veterans hall tonight, hon. Go yeah, good old default Nate. Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Done. Perfect. It's our perfect character. There's an there's an echo. You guys are hearing an echo with the uh, game audio. I, I could definitely see that because I've got um, like I said, I had to do something odd to get this working. I should also kill all the uh, game music before I get demonetized. Go away. It's dual audio echo. Game voice is echo. Okay, let me see what I can do about that. So what I think I need to do here is I need to not stream out. Nope, now I can't hear anything. What if I mute this? Okay, let's go talk to somebody and see how it goes. I think I see what it was. How was thanks, Codsworth? How was Codsworth there? Is that duplicated echoed audio? Thanks for the coffee, bud. Grognak the Barbarian in the jungle of the. I gotta, I gotta like work out my system here. So I'm playing on like an extra monitor that happens to be right where my mic is. So this is a little bit awkward for me. But I don't know how how long we're gonna take this series. I just thought it'd be a fun experiment, and we'll play with it a little bit. Try and give uh, Xbox players some love. Sounds good now. Okay, cool. I might have to re redesign this Sounds setup like here a little bit. A no echo. Good, good, good. Hmm. You know, I was nervous at first, but Codsworth's really good with Sean. It's funny. I use a controller exclusively when I play, but um, my Xbox controller, for, for some I think when I used to be, when I played Xbox a lot, I used to play Destiny on here, and I have these like crazy attachments all over this Xbox controller, like to make the thumbsticks more sensitive. It's very weird. They don't use those on PC. Hey, hon. We should take Codsworth to be service soon, don't you think? 
This feels like I'm playing on PC still. I'm sitting in my sitting in my chair. <laughs> I've got right at my at my normal desk. Now there's a very good chance, guys, that my um, my the Ron alerts don't work with this setup. So uh, if I miss a super chat or anything, uh, my apologies. Good morning, Voltec calling. All right. Good morning, good morning. Agent. Isn't it? Big Dave Gaming. Just I'm stuck on hold the Commonwealth. What do I do to complete it? Um, hold the Commonwealth means that you you've completed the the background stuff for the war. So now you just days. keep playing. Um, and uh, as you're whomping around the Commonwealth, you'll periodically get radio calls to go do more quests. If you never get another quest, um, then we'd have to probably look and see what prevented the the next quest in the chain from starting for you. So probably some sort of mod conflict or uh, something along those lines. So if you're on PC, we could try looking at your save file and uh, see what's going on. Hello? Um, oh. Then I'm glad you caught up with here. me. Sorry about that, Voltec Rep. Didn't mean to leave it oh, hanging. Oh, me too. You have no but yeah, hold idea. the Commonwealth. You're not meant to complete now, that. That's just our holding fellow, objective so to I say, like, uh, to just just time being hang tight a, uh, and uh, mm, keep playing the rest of the game. Um, the State of War I'm and Under One Banner are quests that that you don't have to actively engage in much um, once you, you get to their last the objectives for each. It's just kind of they're just holding there letting the you know that vault. stuff might happen. Vault I actually am not a huge fan of the pattern, but that is what uh, that is what was come up with. Because I think it's like, um, you know, on, on paper, it, see, it feels like a good idea to feel like, oh, there's perpetual objectives regarding the war and... Uh, and allies and everything, but in, in reality, the way most people play Fallout 4 is it feels like something's broken. So, um, sounds great. But those are oh, designed that way Believe for better or for worse. Now you're already cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of. What is the name of the last quest you had, Dave? Atomic annihilation. Uh, World Mapper 2. I would try this now for I people that are having Jake not popping up. Get the workshop. Plot That's hard all. save. Place generator. Quick save. Place beacon. Connect wire. Hopefully that works. Yeah, I think that some some folks have sure. uh, workshop it. replacement Splendid. scripts and they don't realize it. Splendid. Which workshop framework is supposed now, to detect now, that? But I haven't see. tested that feature to see that it detects um, uh, that it detects overrides in a while. So. Oh, okay. I was gonna say, how's this gonna work? We're gonna go with my favorite name that Codsworth will speak. And let's see, what are we gonna do here? We're gonna. Do uh, I guess because we're just kind of, we just want a power level, I think then the best way to go is, uh, what do you call it, the, uh, well, I think I need two int for, for medic, five luck for, for what's it called, um, uh, I guess we can, do we go vats? Yeah, I'm not going to do charisma, um, we need five luck for what's it called, uh, and I did get the Iran, awesome, Yogi, thanks for the donation, here's my token contribution, I haven't finished chapter three, can't wall a text here, so I'll just say thanks to the whole team for making something genuinely amazing, oh, that's awesome, Yogi, I'm glad you made it through, um, and that uh, the story hit you right, like, that was, that was the, the, that's all I wanted, when, like, you know, we, um, obviously, we could have, as you guys have, who have been playing through it, have seen, like, we probably could have polished this thing for two more years, um, trying to get all the all the little kinks worked out and everything, um, but we wanted to make sure everybody got a chance to uh, to conclude the story because I, I was so afraid of uh, having a repeat of Conqueror of uh, uh, the uh, story left hanging. So it was like eh, it was all engines forward. We got to get this story done before Starfield uh, before we start because we literally lost voice actors from Conqueror. So now even if we want to finish it, we got to go re-record loved characters, which would be awful. Um, but anyway, am I, am I correct guys? Is it five luck for, uh, cause I, what I want is I want to be able to get medic and I want to be able to get, um, uh, bu 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 idiot savant. I think I'm on the right settings here. Oscar. So when will the ASAM crew march on the capital wasteland and take over DC? Yeah. I don't, I don't know that fallout three is handling, handling this. That's not likely. Five luck for idiots about. Thank you, deep dive. Okay, cool. So then I think I'm okay with this build. I don't know if I need perception. It's for weapon accuracy and vats. Do I want agility for what I'm going to play? A number of action points and vats. Yeah, I guess I kind of want that. 
<laughs> Alright, I guess we'll do this. We can tinker with it later. But I just I really just want to get uh uh, I guess we don't need to loot as much as usual today, so we can kind of keep the pace going. Um, sure, I'm not I'm not great with the special stat of knowing what I want. So, or as far as That's knowing what's uh, special or perks. That's the word I was looking for. What perks require what special stats? Despite playing this game literally um, every day for like six again. years. Hey, uh, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. The music fan. How many soldiers do I have to recruit before I stop getting your part? Is not over enough warriors message for eager tours quest. Well over eight. The cells tells me to recruit. Um, you likely have some sort of corruption in your save that is preventing the warriors from counting. We are going to add a tool to the hollow tape in the future to like force a recalculation. For now, you can go into the settings, and because I'm on Xbox, I don't have access to my MCM menu, so I can't show it to you. But if you go in the war settings, you can turn off the uh, warrior requirement, and that should let you run it with just any of your soldiers. That's what I would try. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Kenneth Kreese and I used a mod called Modern Weapons, and the war chest won't recognize the weapons or armor from that mod. Yeah, we're gonna need like a giant patch for that kind of stuff. Um, uh, I'm hope XV has like a script to do it. I'm hoping to tie to to pair up with him and get that put in the base mod to try and automatically support the vast majority of weapon mods. But we have not right now. Our focus is all on um, getting like egregious bugs out of your guys' way that are stopping the story from proceeding. And now we've also started with. Um, trying to work out bugs where you're getting the wrong story content because there's some significant story changes or like there's some significant differences in how the story plays out regarding certain characters depending on choices you make Hun. um yeah i got yeah, you i got you lady like hold on um and so we're trying to fix up some of those so that people don't have like a a bad story outcome that they didn't expect like where where characters come back from the dead or um people don't acknowledge things that they explicitly chose we're trying to fix those now as well because that to me is just as bad as you know a showstopper that makes you not be able to complete objectives jason lokrantz thank you for the donation uh really hoping you run into the brown face bug I always find that funny when it happens thanks for the stream yeah it'll be funny if that i've never seen that on xbox can that happen on xbox for me on pc it would always happen when i tabbed out Big Dave game. It was 45 soldiers in an outpost. Yeah, that's the probably last objective you had. But what, what's the last quest you got, uh, Big Dave? From because uh, during State of War, basically State of War is a controller that launches the next five story quests. And so, um, like the first one, I believe is it first launches under one banner, I believe. Then it launches outside assistance. So I'm curious what one you made it up to. The Dr. 98, is it possible have holotapes spawn Jake's and Sexual can't use console command? The reason Jake is appeared for me when active oh recruit bait. We, we, we do have that ball. in here, and now. I'll actually show you guys that when we get to our holotape. There's, a, there's a tool to make Jake go where you want him. Off we go. Apologize if the game uh, sound is a little crackly. It turns out that these uh, Elgato cards are like super power hungry. And so I need, apparently I need to go to my motherboard settings and like crank up the power of my USB ports output. And I haven't done that. I just found out about that like 10 minutes ago. We need to get in. We're on the list. Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, 20 millimeter anti-tank cannon. <laughs> that sounds fun. Come on. What's going to happen to all those people outside We're the gate? everything we can. Now keep moving. Here we go. Step on the platform in the center. We're going. Carbon Kid 85 Sim Settlements in space. Starfield mod. Starfield mod with Jake and friends, companions. I'm Almost there. Companions. We're gonna be okay. I love you, both of you. We love you too. We we uh. <laughs> oh my god. We once. I'm not laughing about the family getting nuked. Uh, we uh we once joked when we were developing the Conqueror storyline. Because back then we knew Starfield was coming. Like, man, we should arrange so that at the end of our uh, our story of Conqueror, like we've created like a janky junk robot, uh, junk rocket ship, so that we can take the Conqueror gang into space. <laughs> and uh, and yeah, but uh, that that obviously did not happen. 
Herox Miles. Hi, first time I finally caught you live. I'm a VR player and I haven't played SS1 or SS2 yet. I'd like to try my next playthrough. Any concerns? Um, with SS2, make sure... I, I would play SS2 over SS1 just because we, we put so much more effort into it. Like, SS1... Um, is a I think it's still a it's still a, a very playable experience, but it's not nearly as deep. It has almost no story content, and SS2 has had years of more experience, like under my belt coding it. So while it does have its its flaws and and uh, issues, we're still working out. The core code is a lot more stable than SS1. Um, if you're gonna play on VR though, for SS2, you're gonna want to. There's a companion mod somebody put out. I could not tell you the name off the top of my head. For VR, that lets you um, look at like a note in game to get an approximation of our HUD because without our HUD, it's very hard to play. And, and our HUD, unfortunately, does not work in uh, VR. We actually, I actually tried to um, get Reg 2K, who created on framework, to to port it over to. VR and he was not able to and I think that's because he didn't have the equipment so he was just working from files oh, I was sending him and I think it was a little this too frustrating to work that way. But, so uh, that's all I can say about VR I will say I ha I've personally played SS1 in VR and like tear to my eye the first time I got to see Wasteland Lounger in 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 uh, VR because I had that was the first building I made for for Sims Elements 1, we'll and uh, all I built 26 variations of it because of the way the VIP system used to work in, in SS1, so I had spent a metric buttload of time uh, on that building, so getting to see it like in VR and feeling like it was real in front of me was, was like a pretty emotional moment. Hey, So highly recommend Just step in here SS in uh, VR. If I did, if VR didn't make me nauseous, I might do that on stream. Although I don't, I don't see that that's a good watch. Like whenever people do like VR games on stream, I'm always, I never feel like it was a better experience as a watcher. It's one of the problems with VR is it's hard to sell it just from uh, just showing videos. Would it be possible to give our soldiers our own loadout, such as armor we scavenge off to gunners? Um, yeah, you can just hand them gear, for sure. And then there's an option on them on the manage soldier menu that you can turn off armory equipment, so that way the loadout doesn't overwrite what you give them. Okay, Big Dave Gaming, one banner and help railroad and, many, and ally more people. Okay, so you haven't even gotten outside assistance yet. That's very odd. Um, so that, uh, we won't talk about it. I don't want to spoil story moments because that, that outside assistance is the first big, like, shocking reveal moment. Um, so I won't spoil that. But uh, yeah, the best I can suggest, Big Dave, would be if you can, if you don't mind posting on our forums um, uh, or connect with somebody here in chat who can have you contact them some way where you can send them your save file and they can get it to me. Uh, but we need, I need, basically need to look at your save to see what's going on. My guess is, so the most common thing that happens with these quests getting stuck where they just don't start is we are referencing some vanilla object, you know, like maybe some random chair in a building and some other mod moved it or deleted it, and then that causes our quest to fail to start. Probably something along those lines would be my guess, if, for, if it's not starting for you. Quester, good evening, sir. Finally SS2 on Xbox. Yeah, I finally... Someone finally tipped me off that I was being an idiot about these giant um, HDMI cables, and I could just move my Xbox and put it next to my computer. I had not thought to do that for some reason. I was just insistent that it needed to stay by my television, yet nobody plays it on my television, so that was kind of pointless. Poke Breeder, is Gunner's outfit pack compatible with Sims 2 chapters 1 through 3? Uh, yeah, it should be. We actually, thanks to default's permissions, we uh, made use of several of the outfits in there. So all of our big Gunner characters, with the exception of Algernon, but we are, uh, let's see, Lamont, Wise, Berman, and Captain Wes are all using outfits from that pack. Very much like it. We are not, if, the, if that mod, I don't know... Does that outfit bond, does anybody know, does that outfit pack from default the fixer, does it inject into the gunner's level lists? Because if so, <coughs> we we try our best to keep all of our NPCs using the vanilla level list, so that way they will benefit from uh, whatever mods you happen to have plugged in. Liam must stop. Really love the flickering lights quest. Didn't have that type of experience since Museum of Witchcraft. Yeah, I think it came out, it came out a lot cooler than... Uh, uh, then I was worried we were going to be able to pull off, but I think everybody on the team was like, "Man, this is our this is people's first experience with Chapter Three. Like Come we can't we can't have right. this like half baked. We got to go all in." So we did custom music and a bunch of custom animations, and like it's uh, it was quite the production. Come on, come on, come on! Hard, hard oh, to do. God. 
horror well in this um, in this engine. Like it's not designed for it, obviously. So certain things are a little jank, but. I think and it came out pretty good. Back. I think the only the only thing that uh, most players complain about with with uh, that quest is um, the, re <coughs> the reveal at the end is disappointing. But I, I think our our logic for why we did that is sound is that we didn't want to like throw some crazy loop at you guys, where you'd then think, "Wow, is this what Chapter Three is going to be all about?" Like the 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 I'm sure some people are worried all right away. It's like, is this going to be a horror mod now? Um, so like that was enough of a. Of a difference, man. Nah, see, I still want to loot. I can't help it. It's in my blood, guys. I just want to loot all the things. But we are gonna need it for building up settlements at the beginning. Matt and Ryan, we all owe King Gaffer because you're bringing so much to our shared hobby. Not just me. There's a whole big old squad. Go check the uh, if you go to the credits page on some settlements. To uh, wiki.simsettlements2.com, you'll see just how many contributors we've had over the years. Like when we we Giant. put together in-game credits for after the and people hell? who make it to the end of the chapter three story, and like the uh, it got to the point where we we like picked a song that from uh, a composer I really like that does it all under Creative Commons, and we were worried that we were going to have to make the credits uh, either have to loop the song multiple times or move the credits so fast that um, you wouldn't be able to read them because we had so many people. It's wild. And it's only going to grow too, because we still have a lot of content that's like half finished, and so some of the some of the characters haven't been cast yet. So there's going to be handfuls of little content that we patch in uh, over the next two years, and um, so there's going to be even more people involved. Come back. What happened here? Give Where me is it, Lords? Yes, gunner, gunner pack and inject outfits. Okay, awesome. Yeah, so then that would be yeah, that'll be great. It'll add a lot of variety and stuff to the to the gunners, especially during because we have two kind of like war segments in the story: one during chapter two, one during chapter three, where you're just like constantly dealing with gunners. Uh, let's see, Derek Morgan on Xbox. I'm trying to keep my settlements small for better performance. Uh, is it better to use vanilla workshop items for some basic resources? You could. I definitely am going to, like when I play today on Xbox, I'm going to turn the settings all down super low for that exact reason of I want to keep everything simple um, because the, I want to I want to figure out what the optimal experience is for Xbox players so that way when people are, I can I can not only, um, why can't I get, I can't, I, oh, because I don't have a Pip-Boy yet. I was like, why can't I open the Pip-Boy? Um, Oh, I just realized something. There's a problem with this being here. You can't play it. You don't have a a, uh, a thing. So that holotape is something we added, but I'm going to have to talk to uh, Sir Rick about another place to put it uh, because you don't have your Pip-Boy here yet, so that doesn't make any sense for that to be there. Or maybe maybe we'll put it in this unlo in this vault net terminal as a holotape you can Security's inject, too something tight. like that. Um, we, we injected, we, so last time, last week we did a bug fix live and I was complaining about this terminal, that I don't like injecting things into the starting areas because it feels like you know you're gonna remember that it's like we want with everything in ss2 to you to be questioning like wait was that here all the time like oh, like wait is this some settlements or is this is this bethesda that's kind of the goal because then it means that we've done a good job of matching uh their quality and if we have things that are failing at that like they need to be they need to be improved and um there's no hiding the fact that like we injected stuff in the starting area that you've all played a thousand times uh, but the story benefits of it are, were enough that I was convinced that we need to do it. So, um, oh yeah, terminal right, somewhere. Thing. So anyway, so that terminal's still here. That hollow tape, though, did totally forgot about the fact that you wouldn't be able to play it. Didn't even click. Big Dave Gaming, thank you for the donation. Thank you for the help, King Gath. Can I use the tape to start the quest? Um, to uh, you could try. I, you could try running. Um, uh, skip to specific main quest and try skipping to outside assistance and see what happens. Maybe that'll work. All right, and since we're just playing through content we've seen a million times, I am I am just staying engaged with chat today because we're not really. This is you've all seen this a million times. There's no nothing new and exciting to see here in the game. Um, the biggest uh, hurdle here for me is the fact that I got to look. 
at multiple screens around a microphone right now because I did not. This was a, a last minute decision to do this. This was a, I was just doing some research uh, this afternoon about how I would use my capture card with the Xbox and then when they, and thinking that like, okay, I'm gonna have to buy, you know, a couple more cables or something and then watching the person do it and they just moved their Xbox. I was like, ah, oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's much more intelligent than what I was gonna do. Um, so dropping $100 on HDMI cables. Um, but, uh, so yeah, I don't, I didn't get the most optimal setup yet, but, uh, we'll get there if we do this again. Uh, I might, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that, play this again next week or if we'll back to, I think it's going to depend on how many hot fix worthy bugs you guys find for me <laughs> in the next week. Cause then after, like once we get to the end of the month, um, I am going to be doing like, I'll, pr I'll probably do like one, maybe two patches in September, but I'm going to hunker down and play Starfield like the rest of you guys. Uh, let's see here. What did I miss? Can't use the vanilla overseer terminal. Yeah, we could. I mean, we could inject more stuff in there. I, I'm leery about doing that um, because it's and it will get you locked in the vault right away. So generally, when we replace terminals in the game, we do it with non-important ones. All right, let's go ahead and listen to that holotape. We should still have it. Yeah, here we go. To be frank, Dr. Magnuson, we're all rather relieved to have you here. Our last technical review was hardly glowing, and things have only gotten worse. Oh, um, do you mind? I'm recording on, on my pit boy for, uh, for future citation, you understand. Oh, there's another yes, holotape, yes, but it got st fine. stuck underneath here. Give me the holotape. Open, you can start right away. And All right, we're gonna have to. Using your past I'm gonna put that on my notes list. So that needs to get havoc disabled. Yes. Well, from what I've read, I'm not surprised you've been having problems. The pot's designs are hardly conventional. Speaking of which, I understand. Oh me, I am just taking some notes here. Yourself. You must really believe in the project. Yes. Well. Uh, here we are. The entrance to what will be Vault 111. Okay. So, yeah, that was that first holotape. Um, basically trying to, like, uh, uh, plant some of our lore bits and characters and stuff in your head right away. So that it's not um, all of a sudden later on. So because we've got a lot of, we've got a lot of background lore that touches on all sorts of Fallout stuff. Uh, Carrie Gignick, what was the original inspiration catalyst for the whole Sim Settlements mod idea? Uh, it was me realizing I did not want to go meticulously build up all of the settlements every playthrough, even though I knew I was going to play through the game over and over again. Um, because that's what I tend to do with those games, is I will play one, and then when I'm done with it, if I don't have some other new game I'm excited about, I will boot up another old one. It'll be like rotating between Skyrim and Fallout New Vegas and such. So I, I decided to try and create a mod to solve that problem of making it so that uh, each time I built settlements, I could just quickly build them and they'd look good. Hence the, and then I, I went to the plot idea because I love city builder games. And then instead of it freeing up time for me, it became my life, <laughs> effectively. Like this has consumed all of my hobbies. Um, I no longer, I rarely play games anymore. I, I think I've played like one new title per year ever since uh, I put out some settlements because I found that this is the first, like I've been modding games most of my life, like since I was a teenager, but this is the first, but having the, comp like I never had success with audience. It was always just like little, little goofy mods and stuff. I had one um, significant mod out there for, uh, I'm not even gonna, I, it's all under a different name. I'm not gonna tell you what game, I'm not gonna tell you anything, but I'll say I've had one significant mod out there. It still didn't, didn't have the audience that SimSolomon did, and having the combination of a game franchise I love, like Fallout's one of my favorite franchises of all time, uh, plus an audience, plus a, um, a pretty, like I, I find modding this game pretty intuitive, it was just like the perfect, and a lot of free time all of a sudden, like that combination of, of things just hit just right, and so I got obsessed with this. Matt Ryan, more excited for Starfield Outpost building or ship building? Um, I'm curious to, I just want to find out what Outpost building is like. Like, um, it looks, you know, it looks just like Fallout 76 building, which I, you know, I can take it or leave it now. Now I want, you know, I want some settlement style building. Um, 
but I want to I want to see what the what the what they did with it because it's you know there's talk of like um, uh, doing research there and stuff and you get to have your companion the companions working there I'm really, I'm really curious how it plays out so I'm more excited to check that out whereas the shipbuilding they did so much advertising about it that it's it looks pretty looks pretty clear what it is it looks awesome um, it's like the uh, I, I used to be a huge Kingdom Hearts fan, um, uh, although I had I never played three. I'm told uh, I'm lucky that I didn't bother with it, uh, but I loved the first two Kingdom Hearts games. And one of the things they had in there was this system where you would build block by block a ship out of like uh, candy, and I loved that system. It was so fun. Uh, and this looks like a grown-up version of that, the Starfield building. So I'm really excited for that. But uh, but yeah, that's like a known quantity. Oh, Twitch chat. I'm sorry, Eltiakis. Uh, uh, hello. Granny Vats, hello. I I am trying to follow both uh, both chats, but I'm not I'm not a I'm, I'm still not a pro at this streaming thing, so bear with me. Thankfully, the uh, usually Twitch chat's pretty slow, so probably because I don't engage as much, um, but because just keeping up with YouTube chat is a is a challenge. Liam, must stop. Are there any more outpost plans like Warwick with the pre-built artillery? I really like the design. There is one for Warwick, one for Castle, one for Spectacle. Um, once we reboot the city plan contest, which will probably start again in October or November, then we will be doing all outpost contests. So my assumption is you're going to see a lot more designs like that. And so the goal will be, um, you know, have the contestants design city plans that are perfect for outposts. So lots of martial plots, lots of artillery, um, you know, lots of like uh, bunks and stuff. So that feel like they belong as military outposts in addition to having the support that you would want. And they'll be like specially flagged so they don't accidentally get built in your regular settlements. Oh, using the vanilla overseer terminal to listen to the hollow tape. Oh yeah, I totally forgot about that. That is not something I do very often. So yes, could have done that. So you're right, I don't have to worry about moving it. Good point, good point. I guess I don't need to do Codsworth here. But you seem to Jeez. I'm actually just kind of stalling for time because one of the things with place. Um, some settlements that I think some people on Xbox are running into. So here, here's the let's let's go over real quick now that we're past the, the intro of the game. So the goal of this series, I don't know how many episodes it's going to go, is to find the best way to play SS2 on Xbox. So um, I've never done a playthrough of SS2 on it. I've done a handful of quests on it. I, I tend to right before we launch an expansion, I load up make sure that the the quest line launches correctly um, and i'll do like some rough testing of the uh of the systems but for the most part like the code and everything is identical um, the only thing that we back. really change between the it's ver xbox and pc version is the pc You're version because of extended has more content uh we also have different texture files between the two which is why you guys on xbox will sometimes find some uh some fuchsia textures and that is because uh, the texture basically is failing to load on Xbox, so we have to reformat those, and it's kind of a pain, which is why there are some that keep coming back. Like there's, um, what are they, uh, Hellhounds, a bunch of Hellhound textures. For whatever reason, every time I run the conversion, they get con they get corrupted, and then I have to figure out how to redo them. And uh, next time, next time I finally get around to doing it, I'm going to take notes fine. of what I did and document it for myself because I just can't remember how to do it. So then it's just like, okay, it's going to take me an hour of messing around trying to figure out how I did this again. Um, but uh, so the goal here is to play the mod. I'm not going to spend a lot of time listening to dialogue or um, uh, uh, go in too deep on the story content other than to unlock all the mechanics. So we can make sure that there's no gotchas, like things on Xbox that maybe you guys all struggle with that we don't deal with much on PC because you know there's there's slight differences in the game and the fact that we get used to having things like F4SE and stuff uh, where there might be some things that we overlooked that could be fixed. So I want to experience it myself. So I'm going to play through most of the quests uh, in this series, but um, we're going to kind of speed through the dialogue and everything. And I'm not going to play a ton of vanilla. I'm going to play just enough because when we eventually get to chapter three, um, it, uh -huh. some of the some of the stuff you do Codsworth matters. Buddy. So that's why I'm like talking to Codsworth and whatnot, because um, right. I I'm going to want to get through, uh, get some companions, get some um, uh, do the Preston stuff, etc. So there's going to be some basic vanilla game stuff I'm going to need to do just for that sake. So. But the reason I said I'm stalling 
is because SS2 has a lot of startup code. So not only does it have to wait for Workshop Frameworks systems to start up, but then it has a bunch of systems of its own. And I think what's happening for some Xbox players is they are loading up the mod for the first time in an existing save, and then immediately building a, a beacon and hoping SS2 starts up. And that likely isn't enough time. So that's the first issue that's potentially hitting people. The second issue is the fact that the um, if you already had some radio recruitment beacons built in your game, then Jake can show up to any of those settlements. Um, I'm likely going to modify that code to just directly re react to the next time you build a re recruitment beacon, and then some people can just have two beacons um, in a settlement. It's a little less immersive. Like, the reason we went with the, the way we did was to keep it immersive. It's a matter of... Um, you know, you already had the beacons and he's, he's responding to your, to your radio broadcast. Cause if you listen to the radio station yourself, it's, it's you talking and, uh, trying to recruit settlers. So he's just kind of supposed to be a new settler who's, who's reacting to that. Um, uh, but hey, because it's confusing to a lot of new people and not everybody's going to go to the forums or come to a live stream and ask questions. Uh, I bet there's a lot of people who booted it up, um, built a beacon. Jake never showed up and they just were like, I guess this mod's broken and moved Thanks on. Thanks for trying. So I'm, I don't want to leave it like that. Give up, sir. What about the city? Concord is nearby and, well, the people there have only shot at me a few times. Uh, oh, and my chat just jumped for me, so apologies if I missed some of your guys' questions. Uh, Braytech, without help, spoiling too much, how do I get the Institute Envoy to show up? You'll I did the BOS sure. ending, so I'm not sure there's even going to be an Institute Envoy. There will not be. If you blow up a faction, there will not be an Envoy from them. Um, now, I will say, in the future, we do have some plans to give you guys paths to get access to multiple factions, regardless of what you chose to do in the main story. But it's not in yet. Um, so if you want to live out the fantasy of the trailer, you got to wait a little bit. Like we are, like I said, we're not done with content, but we had to make some cuts in order to get, um, the main storyline out before Starfield. So there was a handful of story moments that were cut last night. Nice. All right. So, uh, popular, um, tribal knowledge. People like to think that by cl clicking on that, magazine that's what triggers jake and that is not the case um there's a good argument to do that just for the sake of um giving a clear trigger but the reason that we don't do that is because mods can mess with settlements and we didn't want it to be that and we've already had this reported where some for some people that magazine is like buried in the wall here because of physics so um all right, that should be enough. I just need to get enough rubber to build the generator too. Uh, but what actually triggers him, like I mentioned before, is that uh, you build, and I can't, I can't see my workshop menu. My mic stand is like right in front of it. So I gotta like twist all awkwardly. Um, so if we go over here to recruitment beacon, all right, here's the moment of truth. Can we get Jake to show up or am I immediately gonna have to turn this into a bug fix live stream? That'll be an interesting transition. All right, so we should see there's our one person. Let's see if it's our boy. Now, normally he spawns over here, but I have seen him spawn in other places uh, recently when testing. Yeah, he didn't come over here today. So let's go check over here. The actual official spawn point in Sanctuary is like over here somewhere. And then Jake used to just follow you to the ends of the earth, but um, people complained about that. And so we switched it, so now he just sandboxes around the settlement trying to find you. Um, so I might try and find a happy medium to where he like he will follow you while you're in a settlement, and then if you leave, he will stop following you. And I think that's how I attempted to set it up, but I don't think it's working. Um, oh, I still hear a little roach. So let's see if we can find a Jakey boy here. Stranger as he'll be called. You sitting in a chair or something, buddy? Oh, there he is. He went right for the radio. So, yep, that's definitely working. Um, so, I'm not sure why some folks are not having it. My, like I said, my best guess hey, hello there. is uh, he's at one of their other settlements. That's the what I'm saying. Oh, come here. Hey. Come talk to me. Hi. If I'm not mistaken, you're the fellow I've been looking for. 
You hear my broadcast? All right, so here's where we're going to power oh, through sure. some dialogue. If you want to watch me play through the whole thing where I listen to every word, That's right. uh, like go check out my Let's Play series. The first one I did in of Hezus 2, that one hey, is catch. with the like moderate difficulty settings. So I think that's a, that's a good representation of the cool. average experience. Okay. Mm. Place that ace in. There we go. Granny Bats, I love playing SS2, but I'm sad that I can't get from C to going C to start. Uh, can I finish this playthrough without it and remote manage it? Yes, you can. You will miss out on um, some mechanics, but uh, you can play without them. It's odd that it won't start. But I've all, I mean, that's better. I'd rather have that not start for you than uh, flicker and lights. Some people are having a problem with Chapter 3 not starting to the point where in the last patch, I have, um, I added code, or maybe a couple patches ago in patch. I can't remember what one. I might add it one more time. I might just add it as another startup thing. Uh, a loop that just constantly checks to see if it's time to start up Chapter 3 because so many people were having trouble with it. Uh, Alright, so let's go ahead and build our residential plot. Uh, I guess it doesn't really matter how we, where we build it. I'm very curious to see how Jake does with pathing on Xbox. That's the... Um, the pathing is one of the things I anticipate having to do the most work for Xbox players. So we found out during Chapter 3 dev that um, uh, nav mesh in interior cells is a disaster. Straight up disaster. And it requires an F4SC fix. And so I'm betting that there are a fair number of our quests that happen in interior cells that we'll need to add... that we're going to need to add uh, teleport scripts for. Don't mind the ASAM. It's just scanning the area. Bill Thompson, should I just install some settlements to chapter, chapter 3, all chapters packed around everything smoothly? You're going to want to grab that, workshop framework, and HUD framework, and you will be good to go. Sombra, yeah, chapter 3 never started my game for some reason. Yeah, I can't figure it out. I have um, some chapter 2 saves that never saw chapter 3, and I booted them up, and chapter 3 always starts as expected, so... I've even tried oh, no. somewhere. I no, had the no save up to the there. point right before I you complete Commonwealth Rising. I complete it, and then 48 hours I later, Chapter I'll 3 starts. So I'm not sure what's preventing it for some phone. folks, but we're just going to have to get a little more heavy handed with it. Short. You're right. If only I had a little guidance, I could probably build something myself. But wait, what is this? Why, it's an ace, Sam. Just the thing I need. What do you need it for? That is a great question. You see, with an A, Sam, there's no barrier for entry when it comes to building something. All I'd need to do is follow the step-by-step -step instructions provided by the A, Sam. Here, let me show you. All right, get to building. Oscar N1 and 7, thank you for the donation. Uh, King, I haven't had a chance to play Chapter 3 yet, but I've been watching some playthroughs. Love what I've seen so far. Awesome job, everyone. Uh, Oscar, I can't wait to play your quests. I hope you're I hope you're still working on it. I hope you're still working on it. Oscar's got a really cool quest line he's working on um, that'll tie into uh, some vanilla stuff. Looks pretty cool. Uh, Will Thompson, does SS2 DLC Settlers patch anything cool or new? I'm looking at Nexus under optional files. Um, I don't remember what that was. I think that just fixes a, a weird quirk with uh, Far Harbor Settlers, if I remember correctly. I don't remember how that patch works, but it's like one that will never should never need another update again. It's just like a little minor fix. Uh, Granite Bats, I've researched a way to start it, but I couldn't find the code. I even rolled back my save and tried again. Oh, that's, that's sad. Yeah, I don't know what would prevent that from starting. Uh, I remember if you guys want uh, Just one more nail. me to definitely read your message, please uh, at King Gathme. That's why I'm skipping around chat, just because I will and never be able to pay attention to the game if I try and read every <laughs> every chat message. Oh, Sonic, you got my back. You're, you're spamming that message for me. Thank you. Built using locally sourced materials and designed by our patented dynamic easy build proofing software. If only I could get uh, the rest of the plot demos to play as smoothly as the first one does. I have no idea, because they're all set up the same way, but for whatever reason, the very first one just works so smooth every time, and then the other ones are all... It's, it's, a, it's like a crapshoot whether or not you're going to get a good play of it. Not too shabby, huh? 
So now that you've seen what they can do, what do you think? All right, Sam says. Uh, this is not a series. This is a the old S. So there's like, I hate the way they name these. So it was like. Xbox One, then Xbox One S, then Xbox One X, then Xbox Series S. This is an Xbox One S, so not this is pre-series. So I'm, I'm playing this on as old an Xbox as I could find, um, so that you know, because if I can get this working on here and have a playthrough on my channel of it, then Xbox players can, you know, all of them can have hope that they too can play through it successfully. Yes. I'm really interested. <laughs> I thought you might be. Unfortunately, right now I only have the one sensor on me. However, I can provide you with more. And once you have more, I can show you even more stuff you could build with them. Homes are just the start. But first, I'm gonna have to ask for a little task done in return. Of course. Just tell me what you need help with. All right, here it is. I got me a workshop in a town called Concord. Nice enough place, fairly quiet. Or at least it was. But just recently, I returned from a trade run to find the entire town overrun by raiders. And now I can't get near my workshop. A small group I could deal with, but there's too many for me to take on alone. So I'm gonna need someone to help take them out. So there it is. Oh yeah, that's right. Uh, I was gonna skip dialogue and don't worry. Jake I'll sucked me in with his smooth you Texan will? accent. Oh, that's great. Mm-hmm. All right, let's head off. Let's see. It's Jake. All right, he's ready to go. Oh, and a settler moved into his house already. Good work, settler. All right, off we go. All right, um, was, I guess I was gonna mess with options, but I forgot I don't have MCM, I gotta get the holotape. So when we get the holotape from Jake, uh, we're gonna mess with some options and I'll show you guys kind of what I envision the ideal for Xbox players is. And some of it, I believe we already have configured as the defaults to try and take away a lot of the, um, you know, cause there's, there's so much in SS2 with customization, it's overwhelming for most people. I remember even before we added the chapters and, and the, the features that came with them, I remember watching somebody's let's play and they they looked at our menu and they're like nope <laughs> like they, i appreciate you guys putting in so many options but nope and i was like that's fair that's fair it's very that's how i feel like the first time i played uh stellaris and you like you launch the game and it shows you the campaign options like all the different things you can change and i'm like i don't know what any of this stuff is what am i gonna do with all that like it was it's just like an amusing amount of options um so i can feel i, I feel for folks who see that to see our menu and are just noping right out of there. Uh, sure, we'll put on some eyeglasses to get a little extra perception. Oh, you know what I should do? And let's see, let's save. And then I think I need to go in and I gotta check if my, if I like, cause you have limited save space. This is another awful thing for Xbox. But you guys, you guys, you guys are gonna learn, those of you who have only ever played on PC, um, you're gonna learn to have sympathy for Xbox players with this playthrough. Okay, good. I already did kill off all my other. Wait, maybe I didn't. Let's go to select character. Um, oh yeah, see, I still have all these other characters. Okay, so this is my first one, Gath. We're not getting rid of him, but we can get rid of this. You guys are gonna learn to sympathize with these poor Xbox players. Where, where is Aubrey? What is Aubrey? I don't even know what that is. Apparently, I had a character I named Aubrey. All right, delete. Delete. Yeah, they can't even keep infinite saves. I guess we can get rid of Testy. Uh, Testy was probably who I was testing uh, Chapter 3 with. Yes, and yes, this is how slow it, you have to go to delete saves. We feel for you, Xbox players. Rice Krispie 0527, thank you for the donation. Loving Sim Settlements, is HUD framework required? I would call it a soft requirement. It is, like you can run the mod without it, uh, but you will have a lot better time if you if you install it. To bomb 018, do you have to put plots in every settlement to progress the story? Absolutely not. Um, you only have to build, I think you can get away with two settlements, maybe three. You don't have to do that many for sure. Uh, oh my gosh, my uh, my chat's going all crazy. Hold on a second. My window, I can't see anything anymore. Uh, bacon Dags, I have constant CD, CTDs when I try and scrap items not dealing with power poles, but all vanilla items too. Can I fix it? Uh, on Xbox, no. You have run, run into a... Um, you have run into a power grid corruption. This is one of the 
the bugs I'm hoping to see Bethesda fix for the next gen version. Um, we have a tool and workshop framework I can show you that you can try and save salvage your settlement, but it will nuke your whole settlement design. So I can uh, try and show you that in a little bit here. Uh, wait, you can you can't have like ten thousand saves and slow down the main menu. So sad. <laughs> oh, oh, we got some donations. Oscar and one and seven. Another donation. Thank you. It says, yep, still working on the mod. Just posted a couple of videos a few days ago, by the way. As someone who hasn't played Conqueror myself, do you still plan to return it to SS2? I mean, if like on an infinite timeline where I can recruit the voice actors to come back, absolutely. Um, there's no guarantee that that will happen. Um, at least one of our main characters in that quest line uh, is ha has retired from voice acting. Um and one of the other ones is now like full professional, like she's voiced like some some characters in some pretty good sized games. Uh, and so I'm pretty sure we'd have to pay her. And I don't know if we got the budget for that. Um, and then of course, as soon as you start paying one person, then you know, like, all right, maybe we got to pay more people. And then it gets very expensive then. So um, on my wish list, yes, I want to do it. Will it happen? Eh. Cards are stacked against us right now, but I don't think uh, anyone expected this mod to, to make it to this scale either. So who knows? Um, Commander Wolf, thank you for the donation. Another uh, super chat up there. Uh, glory to you and your house. Doing a fresh playthrough of SS2. I hope Starfield's got mod support because some settlements in space would be legendary. Many salutes and thank yous to the whole team. Mod run well on X1. Uh, that's what we're about to find out. I hope it does. Um, like uh, I've played through a handful of the quests over the years on Xbox One, but never. This is gonna be my first time attempting to do like a full blown playthrough. Um, speed skipping through a lot of dialogue, playing with a lot of the settings on easy, but I gotta start somewhere. Uh, I will, I will say definitely, um, you know, you guys are playing on Xbox. The true experience is always going to be on PC just because you're on a space now. Like there's so much stuff we had to cut, um, mostly visuals, but now we're going to, going forward, you, there's going to be story content you guys are going to sell, which I'm sad to say, but you do get to complete. Uh, Jake's storyline. So you get to, to complete the core, but there's going to be a lot of little side storylines you guys are going to only get to see in video or switch to PC Master Race. My hope is that over a long enough timeline, uh, you know, the random garbage computer you pick up at, at Costco or Sam's Club will be able to run Fallout 4, right? Like, you got to imagine that uh, as hardware just keeps improving and the baseline models get decent, and this game just keeps getting older. So then eventually, like, everybody who just has a computer for their kids to do homework will be able to run some settlements. That's the hope. Um, sorry, I'm keeping a pause. I'm trying to kept, catch up a little on chat here. Uh, Cog9, hello, King Gath. I've heard that Bethesda sometimes gets into contact with modders randomly, like they're the Dark Brotherhood and Skyrim. I was curious if you ever talked to anyone at Bethesda about your work. I, I have had the pleasure of talking to a few people at Bethesda. It's, it was very flattering the first time they contacted me, and now I've had... Uh, a, several other chats for various things and one of the 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 benefits of working on a mod like this for so long is that um they take our bug reports very seriously now so we're able to get um uh some reports on the books at bethesda hopefully meaning they'll get fixed for next gen update but i'm not holding my breath Saito 404 chapter 3 triggered normally in earlier versions but when i tried it recently on the same save it never triggered maybe tries to trigger one time fails and never triggers again i actually have it looping so it actually tries uh, every six hours in game to try and run it again. Hey boy, so there's, what are you doing I don't know what the flaw yourself? is, but I have that on my list to like deep test tomorrow, because um, we're not obviously not gonna have a hotfix today, but we will tomorrow. So tomorrow um, in the afternoon, if okay, I get the then. chance, Let's I'm going together. to try and figure out what is causing that and put in as many catches as I can. I really just need to see if anybody has a unmodded save that can uh, that fails to go or like a minimally modded save, like I can. It's really hard for me to launch your guys' saves that, that you guys send me that have like 100 mods. And half the time it'll just say it's corrupt and I don't have time to download all your mods. Um, like I need like a Wabajack list of your mods or, or something to make it a little more feasible to do. Uh, and then that can be a, uh, oops, I didn't mean to do that. I want to just take this settlement. Um, but I kind of need to see a save with the issue. And that will make it so that I can uh, fix it. I guess I'm gonna wear a hard hat. I love I love when in the early game when my character just looks really dumb. It's my favorite favorite time of the game. That's why I always accept uh, the hat Jake gives us. I like my character looking extra ridiculous. 
Oh, we got a super chat I missed. Hold on a second here. Uh, Liam Asta, thank you for the donation. I really like your mod and it feels unjust, so not at least throw a few bucks your way. Thank you. Appreciate that. Oh, there's our mole rat buddies. All right, Jake, show us what you're made of. You got that fancy laser pistol. Got him, dog meat? Nope, there's still another one somewhere. There he is. Nice work, guys. All right, keep looting. I still have never, ever since Conqueror, I've never been able to break the habit of treating uh, cigarettes as high value. Because in, in Conqueror, we had, so in uh, the SS2 war mechanics, you just use caps to recruit everybody. It's really, it's really simple and straightforward. Uh, that might change in the future with the rebalance, but for now, that's what it is. And in, in uh, Conqueror, every faction pack so if you play through the main story your faction pack you defaulted to was raiders had their own currency and so raiders were were their currency for recruitment were cigarettes beer and drugs and so i just tra started treating cigarettes as the as the primary uh primary source of recruitment so i would just go crazy for cigarettes every time i found them it felt it felt appropriate using uh Using prison resources to recruit our raider gang. I think it's like 30 mags. You should install it. What? Uh, what's 30 mags? I, m I must have missed part of the conversation. I, I have 91 mags available right now for for additional things, but I'm gonna I'm probably gonna keep it to things I need to survive as an Xbox player here. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna end up having to get like some sort of. Uh, uh, something to help with downtown Boston so I don't have to deal with crashing. Like, I think there are, there's a mod that helps with that, like gets it so that um, uh, it reduces the textures or improves the LOD or something. Like, I'm gonna probably need something like that. I don't I don't know enough. So you guys, you guys on Xbox are gonna have to help me through this playthrough when we get to Boston <laughs> eventually. Oh, I, I don't actually think we send you downtown Boston or we send you not super close to it. So I think we actually help in that regard because I'm not gonna play Although, I, if I'm going to play the main quest line to get access to a faction for Chapter 3 at some point, I am going to have to play Battle of Bunker Hill. So I'm going to be, I'm going to be pretty uh, down in the, dangerous, in the danger zone on Xbox here. Alright, let's go murder some raiders. Jake, where are you? Usually you, ha you usually have some lines here. Hey, slick. Nothing? Okay, one shot's raiders for me. Good work, buddy. And that's how it's done. Uh, yep, let's take some... Wait, can I wear that? I don't think I can wear that stuff with the drifter outfit, can I? So now I'm just <laughs> naked guy. Cyrus120Z, thank you for the donation. Uh, Cyrus says, do you have a... Just a second, Cyrus. Uh, ooh, welding goggles for a dog. Um, let's see, do you have a recommended mod list for PC to enjoy SS2 in all chapters on Wobjack or Nexus? Why don't you start a new playthrough since Chapter 3 is released? Haven't since before Chapter 1. Um, I, the, so, as soon as I'm done hot fixing, I'm told by Yogi, who manages our city plan contest, that uh, he will be doing a Wobbajack list of SS2 and the add-on packs and, like, the support stuff you would need to just play SS2. So that would be where I'd recommend, but it's not quite out yet because... We're still kind of in uh, hotfix mode. I'm hoping to be done with hotfixes very soon, though, because we're running, like, so far, I don't, other than Chapter 3 not starting and uh, Jake not appearing, I'm not really seeing a lot of reports of, like, um, the mod just full-on doesn't work for me. Um, if I'm wrong, please report that to me on the phone. Like, if you guys know of a spot where you had no choice but to skip a quest with the holotape, like, that is what we call a showstopper bug, and that is why we are hotfixing right now. Like, we're fixing a lot of random other stuff, during this um during this kind of period because you know we're just we're gonna put out the hot fix anyway and if we got the time might as well but uh we have preferences to be working on showstoppers things that are making it so you can't complete the quest you're missing your welding goggles buddy store Quit. there you go now you look correct I don't know who that was. Uh, <clears throat> Whoops. I'll keep guard out here. Head inside. Oh, apparently you can interrupt that little line. Yeah, that's cool. Did not know that. All right. Let's gear up. Getting in our janky raider gear. How are we looking? How are we looking? Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. The only thing I miss uh, from 76 is the wood armor. Because having a combination of, like, raider armor and, and pieces of wood attached to you is just ultimate, 
ultimate jank. Alright, let's see. Let's get this thing. Where is it at? Here we go. Yeah, I hopefully don't need to use melee anymore. Between having Jake with me and... I'm not... I think I'm just playing on normal right now. Oh, the <laughs> near the finger gun is around 30 mags. <laughs> uh. Hey, buddy. Head be gone. You know, another thing I always forget to do because I play in god mode so much is to actually go, um... Uh... Actually, level up. <laughs> I rarely ever remember to do that. I guess we should do that because we want to get um, what's it called? The this this dumb perk. There we go. Bill Thompson, I have one more question. When I spawn into Concord, raiders keep spawning by using freedom. Only Concord. Oh, thought you were a thought you were a mannequin. Get him, doggo. Nice. Uh, spawning by the museum. Any conqueror gets resettled and conquer settlers appear. The raiders keep respawning. Any fix? Uh, no, that's just the base game doing its base game thing. I actually would love... Maybe somebody knows... Oh my god, that is so loud. It's still going. Um, does anybody know offhand, is there a mod out there, even F4SC, that disables cell reset? Because I hate cell reset. I don't know why we, why we have it. Like, I get that they're trying to make it so that... You know, you don't run into areas and they're empty, but it's... I can drop that one. It feels to me like I'd rather have this feeling like I can just eventually clear the world out. That seems like it would feel better. So, that would be the solution, is disabling cell reset. And a mod could add that, absolutely. In fact, I've thought about doing that as a companion mod. Um, but I would prefer to do it as a dynamic F4SC solution. Let's just turn it off, like, as you take over locations or, or complete them in quests. But, really, you could just... It seems like you should just be able to turn it off across the game, and it would feel the game would still feel good. In fact, the game I think would feel a little better. I'm telling you, man, let's just get the hell out of here. We got no reason to hang around. Duncan Wright, thank you for the donation. Uh, a coffee from New Zealand. Any updates on Chapter Three making companions stop following you? Um, I I don't know in what in what way you mean. If you mean like one of our people stuck following you, um. I'm not aware of any specific issues of that. Like, I know some people run into it occasionally, but it's not anything we have replicated yet. So, once we get issues replicated that are detrimental to completing the story, we put those into a hotfix. But uh, we, have to, we either need a save that we can open, which is a tough, it's a tough call, because you guys don't want to just play with SS2. Um, fair enough. And, uh, or we need steps so that we can repeat it. Oh, I just realized we have a we have a uh, we have a flub here. I need to write down and fix. We have in, injected some stuff in the game that doesn't that needs to be there at the beginning, and it is not. So I'm gonna put this on my notes. Um, me just taking some notes all right there's an issue that's an issue that's been reported on the forum several times it tends to happen after outpost location raids um hmm So the issue that I've heard about after Apple's location is your your companions will run away. That's the only one I'm familiar with. But I've put in several fixes for that. I, 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 if that's what you're talking about, then that's um, that's unfortunate if my fix didn't work. Oops, forgot to reload there. Alright, was that the last piece we needed? Was. 
guess we can drop this. How are we looking? How are we looking? Oh yeah, nice mix, mix and match. Appreciate it. Preston. Man, I don't know who you are, but your time is impeccable. God damn it. Glad to help. Well, if that's true, we could use some more goodwill. As you can see, we're in so, a mess. So, uh, to replicate uh, the thing you guys are talking about, if, am I correct? It's because it's when you have companions that are like living at your settlements and they just run ago, away, or is it the companions you have? Yesterday, like there were you're eight. wandering around with McCready and he just takes off. Is that I don't. I just need some clarity, and we can First it was we can uh, ask Mexico. some folks to try and replicate it. Sorry, sounds rough. Huh. One good idea uh, can make all the difference. Good. Sturgis. Mm hmm. There's a crashed vertebrate up on the roof. Old school. Pre-war. Well. Uh, bacon and, and uh, eggs. I, I think I answered your question earlier about that. It's basically when you, if you're crashing from scrapping objects, it means you have a corrupt power grid in your settlement. And if you're on Xbox, there is no fix for it. Your settlement is just toast. Um, if you're on PC, we actually have a fix baked into Workshop Framework. If New you guy. have, all you need is like FRSE. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Minigun. Now we're talking. I know, right? It can be powered up again. But we're a bit stuck. Okay, right. haven't even gotten to Chapter 3 content yet. It just breaks the eye consistently so they stop following. Yeah, we're in... The um, pre-Chapter 3 stuff does not touch anything with companions, so I don't I don't know what that would be. Um, but hopefully we'll experience it. Like, you're saying... So it can just happen anytime. So if I go recruit... Uh, yeah, hold on, Sturgis. I'll help if, if I, I go recruit... What you'll need Whoever the first companion I can get, besides it's clearly not happening with dog meat. Um, your high grade who would be the fir who's the first companion the companion I can get that can be a settler? Because that would be the most likely. It's most likely that settler and PCs would be the ones that SS2 would be touching. Who's the easiest one I can get, guys? I can go grab a companion. We can see if we can replicate it while we're playing here on Xbox. I mean, obviously, it's more important for me to do it on PC, where I can run some debug commands. But it would be interesting to see it. Just the same. Can't be too hard. I'll see what I can do. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor... Kenneth Creason, I had to do a complete restart as Iran keeps running out of Norwood Bank and stopping the quest from starting. Rolled back more than five times and didn't work. Yeah, that's one of those... That's another one we have not been able to... Like, we replicated that a while yeah. ago, have God fixed it, and we can't replicate it any longer. So I have no idea why that's not you. working. I guess and that would be another one where if we if someone can get us a save where it's happening still, we can um, we can add a patch Smart that will like too. fix whatever is oh, causing indeed. it. But unfortunately, Dog without being able to replicate it, it's you know it's just we're just shooting in the dark. So we could end up making please, things worse for everybody else by know. trying to fix a thing we can't just reproduce. Listen to me. That's incredible. The fixes for the companions running around like they're searching for an enemy hasn't helped. Mm -hmm. Huh. That's weird because we're like the only time that we do anything with companions is once our war mechanics start. Before that, nothing the the code is running could could even should be impacting companions. Obviously, it is because you guys are all saying it's happening with us too. But uh, I have no idea uh, how we would be impacting that. So Piper is the easiest one to get. Okay, cool. Uh, Nick Carter, got your new PC set up. I, I have it like basically it set is, up. I've installed Fallout 4 on it, it and um, oh, like made sure I that runs, but that's as far as I've kid. taken it. I still have to get like I some sort of headphones or something for it. And figure out how I'm, if I'm going to stream off of it. Now, if I ain't mistaken, you've got it. Faster upfront settler training will prevent soldiers from leveling. Yeah, that doesn't shock me because I think that mod alters one of our quests. So yeah, that mod, you guys should, uh, uh, if you guys have a chance, go post on that guy's uh, page, being like, "Hey, you need to update for 3.0." Hey. These are our lives. You're Kate's an easy with. one to get. Okay. Are you listening to me? Oh wow. Take it easy. How about you, Junior? You guys seem angry to say. No, 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 no. Okay. All right, so then, oh, we need a power core, right? I'm getting distracted here. And we didn't hack to all, do all this. For those of you guys who don't like to do Preston and stuff, as soon as you um, come in and kill the Raiders in the museum, you can actually just walk back out the front door and, and SS2 squad sign will we'll continue. Mm -hmm. I'm in. Yeah. 
got it. Alright. Where you grab that loot, I guess. Duct tape. The most valuable resource in the Commonwealth. in the full loop. Oh, we missed some jet. Most important chemical in the Commonwealth. You think it start Granny got started after the gunners attacked in chapter two. I don't know, I can look into that and see if maybe because chapter two had like a really rudimentary version of the uh, of the assault mechanics so that we could do the little war cycle super basic version but uh, maybe that's maybe that's where the issue is but if that's the case then it would end as soon as you ended um, as soon as you finished the GNN quest because that's when all that stuff shuts down so if that's where the bug is then that should be easy to to determine alright let's get in here Oh, Kenneth, you got less than 10 mods installed. Is that the case for your... No power. What? Wait, what? Didn't I just pick up a core? Or do they... Do I have to go... Am I supposed to go talk to Preston and stuff before? What is going on here? Do I have to put the core in? There it goes. I, didn't, I thought you could just activate it and put one in. Put one in. Hmm. I guess that's how little I use power armor anymore. Yeah, kind of. If your other save that you had to reboot was only on that few mods, uh, we could look at it for sure. Ten mods is nothing. Up here, boss. We got somebody up here. Like ten mods is small enough. I'll go download them all. Hey, buddy. Why don't you get down here? Show me that. We got incoming. Not a lot of people can get past my boys. Give you that. Let's go, Gristle. We'll play with the Duff Ball. for you. <laughs> my microphone's also blocking my compass, so I can't actually see where the enemies are. Got him, Jake. Take care of him. You can see him. Oh, there's another one. All right, there's our death claw friend. <laughs> Take him down, Jake. Use that OP laser weapon. Risky. Almost popped the dog there. <clears throat> Woo! <laughs> that was. I mean, you just took down all the sound from our fire. And where'd all you right, get that? Let's uh -huh. some dialogue. Everything's taken care of. Well, all right. Nice to see a happy ending. You did good. I'm just glad we were able to save their lives. If you'd just like to follow me, we'll get you. All right. Well, first we gotta get some get some loot here, Jake. We're on Xbox here. We can't just TGM our way through everything. Although I'm guessing the uh, what's that mod everybody grabs? Cheat hollow tape. I'm guessing that has some equivalence of uh, God mode in it. If I really need it. Come on, where's the bot? Where's the good body? Is it this little gib here? Yep. Is 
Anybody else? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. I'll take that. Thank you. Give me your loot. Oh, buddy. Oh, nothing. Hey. God damn raiders. They really trashed the place. Nice place you got here. Despite the mess they made, it doesn't look like they took anything important. Most of my equipment is still here. Including your award. Here. One whole box of ASAMs to do with as you see fit. You earned them. Hey, we got the hollow tapes. Now I can show you guys some options that I'm thinking that will be helpful on Xbox. And here's a little extra for helping those folks inside the museum. Good deeds like that deserve to be rewarded. What are you doing? Well, before oh yeah, I forgot I was going to skip dialogue. Man, Jake... Tom, the voice actor of Jake, man, he pulls me in every time. I just will, I'll be testing and I'm supposed to like quickly run through back. to check something and I'll find myself just like listening to all his dialogue. All right, well, I'll meet you back there. Let's do, let's see, we might as well grab Preston and company. Uh, but let's pop in the city manager holotech first. So the first time you load this up, it is gonna check if you've played before. Uh, we are a returning user. But I'm going to choose automated, and um, I'm going to choose automated to start because I want to have... the One of the nice things about automated is you're not really required to hit certain numbers with anything. So that will let me kind of keep below the build limit. Because that's the first thing where things kind of go off the rails for folks playing with SS2 is they don't realize that, oh, the buildings use the build limit. And then you end up in a state where you're at build limit and you're having trouble getting resources. And so then you try and push your luck with increasing your build limit and because i'm on a low-end xbox i'm not going to do that uh if you guys are on the series x or s you can probably get away with pumping up the build limit without issue but i'm not going to risk it on this old xbox i've got so we're going to go with automated so that will make it so that i don't really have to build much um, i can just kind of build the bare minimum to complete the quests and to eventually unlock whatever mechanics i need um, and then we're going to go in here and we go profile options applied and we're gonna go to our options, and we're gonna go to performance. And we're, I think performance should have everything in a good state for Xbox automatically. So, oh no, it doesn't. Interesting, I know we have that, we had that for SS1, I guess I never did it for SS2. So we're gonna turn all this stuff off. Uh, we just want the plots to create as little as possible so that it is, actually we'll leave some of the stuff we can turn on. We can leave on sound emitters. We'll leave special effects on so we get some smokestacks and stuff. Uh, we want clutter off, animation markers we can leave on, uh, we want animated objects off, those are going to be hard, actors would be like extra robots and stuff, we'll turn those off, um, extra lights and detailed models we'll turn off, radios I'm turning off just because of I have to go run around and turn them off anyway, we'll leave the sound on, that's just going to be extra references but it won't add any load to the rendering, um, and special effects I just like enough that I'm willing to, willing to accept the, the hit. Um, and then we're going to put, we're going to turn build limit on for plots because I really don't want to go all over the build limit. Oh, is this a broken holotape setting? Nope, it's just not set to refresh. Okay. Uh, okay, so I'm going to do that. So if any, I'll, I'll run right through these real quick again for anybody who's playing Xbox and wants to try and do the same thing. Um, I'm changing some of the options. I'm turning respect build limit plots on. That could make it so that some of my plots I build and they don't actually construct because I'm at the build limit. So I'll have to just keep an eye on that. Uh, I'm turning off extra actors being able to be spawned, turning off animated objects being able to be spawned, turning off clutter being able to be spawned, detailed models, extra lights, radios, all off. Radios won't have a huge impact on performance. I'm just doing that for the sake of, because I'm streaming. Um, sound emitters I'm going to leave on. Special effects I'm going to leave on. Water planes. I guess I can leave water planes on as well. Um, those are pretty, pretty low impact things I'm leaving on there. Uh, but the goal here is to try and keep my Xbox from... I'm going crazy um, now keep in mind that when you turn these off you might still find some of these things spawning because it's up to the building plan designer to correctly flag all of their options uh, and I couldn't even be certain if we have them all flagged correctly in SS2 proper I know we've gone through several passes of it but sometimes little nuanced stuff like this can slip through the cracks so 
We're going to set that. Um, gameplay options wise, everything's going to be on super easy mode. So I don't think I'm going to mess with any of this stuff right now. Uh, we're going to just assume on automated mode, those options will play pretty good for Xbox. All right, let's go in and talk to Preston. Let's get some more settlers out of this. Yeah, Street Train, you got to keep your Xbox from melting on playing Fallout 4. Even even modless, it's uh, it gets pretty rough. Okay, that was a pretty amazing. Liam messed display. up. I have this issue with corporate what espionage not starting. After I speak with Lydia, she sends me to Allison, but Allison does not speak to me. Not sure if you're aware. Just thought I'd report. Um, that quest, I know very little about. I've actually been saving it so that I could play it fresh, but. Um, Sag, who takes met, care of that quest line, if it's a help. if it's a repeatable issue, I'm well, sure he did. knows about it by now. And we owe you our lives. You're welcome. Well, all right, Garvey. All right, power through here. Yes, Please, yes, yes. Tell me. I need to. Yep, yep, I yep, yep. It. Please tell me where he is. I, I, Please, okay, here Mama we go. Murphy, for... Mama Murphy, okay, now let's level up. Oh, I got two level ups. Oof. All right, what do we want? We want to get medic for sure. Um, that's about as far as I thought. I was like, well, the only two I knew I wanted were Idiot Savant and uh, Medic. Um, and then let's grab... Let's see what else we're going to grab for this playthrough. Um, where did we put our points in? We put our points into Perception, Endurance. Alright. So since we put points into Perception... Let's see... I guess we should do some VAT stuff. Where is all the VAT stuff? Isn't it? A lot of it is actually in luck, isn't it? Um, let's see here. Okay, sprinting is dangerous on Xbox. <laughs> I've crashed many a times. Because uh, I, I actually have done a full playthrough of Fallout 4 on Xbox. The first time I played it was on there. Uh, let's do some, I'm trying to do something a little different than I usually do. Um, let's go with a... Let's do a pistol build, sure. Um, action boy, can we do that? I don't have the points yet. Okay, we'll do pistols. Why not? That junk. It's gonna kill you. So bye bye minigun. All right. We're well. We'll drop off this power armor back at the back at sanctuary. All right. They'll meet me over there eventually. I don't need to wait for them. All right, and I should go grab all the uh, ASAM sensors out of Jake's lab before we head back, so I'm loaded up. Uh, observed Synapse. Hi, I wanted to offer... Oh, come on, get out of here with those ads. Go away. Go away, Observed Synapse. How do I... I don't have a chat. I don't have a moderator on Twitch, so that message, unfortunately, gets to live. No one likes you, Observed Synapse. Go away. Oh, did we did we lose all the ASAM boxes? What happened to them? That's a bug. That means, oh, I'm gonna put that in my notes. So there's um, one of the things we run into between chapters is we have these enable parents, and they're basically these things we link a bunch of items together to them, so that way, um, when oh, I know what it is. I bet they're invisible. I bet this is an Xbox issue. So I bet we removed the mesh because we needed to make space, and now you just can't see them. I bet that's what it is. So I'm going to put that. It's either that or they're gone. Does anybody know, are these still there on PC, or are they gone on PC too? Do you guys have the ASAM boxes on PC, or have they been gone for a while? Because either the issue is... Uh, all ASAMs were there. must be Xbox, yeah. So Xbox... Missing Robco box. All right, I'll get that on the list to fix. Hopefully it's not too big a mesh. I think we just like, we were so desperate for space, we were just bulk um, switching out items to be invisible so that we could make enough room for you guys. Because it was tough squeezing on all three chapters on here. All right, off the sanctuary we go. Oh, there's 
Preston squad. Uh, can't say I'm gonna miss this festering boil on the ass end of the Commonwealth. Uh, <laughs> no offense if you're from here. Yeah. It's all good, Sturgis. Diane Curtis playing on PC and Jake's having trouble starting where there's smoke quest. Hmm. Yeah, I haven't heard of any. Oh, is there a mole rat we missed? Hey, buddy. Uh, the only uh, thing I've heard about with where there's smoke usually starting is uh, folks have trouble with the radio. But I thought I fixed that before before we shut down patching, like uh, before the chapter three. Six month blackout happened. I thought I fixed that issue. Because it tended to only have. To, it was uh, an issue that was only for people using um, the. Uh, was it XDI or FDI? I don't know which one, or maybe it was both. Yeah, those boxes missing was uh, was an oversight, and I would never have found it. So this is a good—I mean, it's a good reason to be playing on Xbox because there's going to be stuff like that where, um, you know, no one but me would know that it was not meant to play out a certain way. So, you know, we have this problem all the all the time when we're talking with the testers as we we start talking about now of um, uh, it helps to give them some of our documentation so that they know what our intent is because sometimes it doesn't—it's maybe not a bug, but it's not matching what we intended it to do, and so it can slip through the cracks otherwise, and so I think that's going to be the case with Xbox. There's probably a lot of a lot of things that uh, were not intentional differences between the two versions. All right, where is Jake? Hey, buddy. Hey there. All right, time to show you what else ASAMs can do. Now, generally speaking, people need a roof over their head, food in their bellies, and a place to be working. We already built a place someone could live. So if you're ready, let's move on to those other two things. Nick Carter. Lydia showed up for the Envoy quest, but Allison did not, even though I did her optional quest, no issue. I, I don't think she's supposed to show up for that conversation. I may, I may be wrong. I'm not... Uh, okay. Show I actually me. was the All one right. who set up the Envoy conversation, but I, it was like such a... But this time, um, use one configured for food production. It was such a rapid-fire thing, because once we got it systemized, it was like, oh, this is actually pretty easy, and then we just bam, 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 knocked them all out. Um, that I actually am not super familiar with all the dialogue. All right, let's go ahead and build ourselves an agricultural plot, and we'll build one of the foundation ones over here. I saw somebody go post ahead. a bug about the foundations not appearing on Xbox. Let's see if that happens. Do we get a foundation? Yep, we got one immediately. Okay, cool. Uh, Street Drought, I'm getting a Series S this Friday. Go I can, I can uh, finger S's too for bugs. What's the best place to hit you about Xbox bug reports? Uh, I did bug testing for ESO and FO76. Uh, the best place uh, is to m message me on our forums so that I can get you set up proper. Because we have like um, uh, we have a Git issue tracker and everything we use. and um, A place where I post betas for people early. So if you've got, if you've got experience Go testing... Ahead. Um, we should just pull you into the into the system properly and not and not do it through back channels. So get in touch with me on our forums, um, and uh, that would be the best way. Oh, maybe I got to get out of workshop mode. So here I was talking about the the fir like the residential plot played perfectly, but for whatever reason the other ones less so. I haven't figured out why. It's one of one of those things like uh, we we talked on the team as we're going through the list of like, all right, here's what we want to do before we retire from Sim Settlements and Fallout 4. And one of the things is like, do like a full deep dive on okay. all of our quest content and be like, all right, I'm where can we, let's, let's take the time and like worry, figure out these issues. And if we can't the figure them out, stuff. you know, get help from the community, get more eyes on exist. the code and be like, all right, what are we doing wrong here? Um, things like that. Just to we, just smooth out some of these early experiences. Cause for some people, cause when, especially when you're dealing with mods, um, not just ours, but all any mods, no, you know, you, you're kind of expecting like some things aren't going to work quite right. So then every time something even runs a little slow, you start thinking like, oh, is this a bug? Instead of the experience just feeling natural, which is something we'd like to avoid. So this one has always bothered me of 
our right away in our second quest we immediately have this wonkiness that I can't figure out. It'll tell your settlers where to dig, what to plant, when to harvest. Takes out all the guesswork. No fuss, no muss. Well, maybe a little bit. The wiki said what Lydia's I mean, supposed I to show up. What, didn't you say she did show up? Or you're saying the or do you mean the wiki said that Allison's supposed to show up? Your kids are somewhere are going back to school and you're somewhere retired so you have time. Awesome. Yeah, definitely more eyeballs on on Xbox. It's going to okay. be Almost there are going to be some things that you're definitely going to lose, um, but you know we can get rid of like some things like that, non-intentional. We can sort out. Um, I eventually would like to resolve all the texture issues on Xbox, like getting. I know the bunch of characters have like Chrome outfits right now, and we've got some missing textures that are fuchsia. Like that, I would like to resolve eventually. It's just we don't have good tools for managing textures on Xbox, unfortunately. So it's going to be once I figure it out, um, I got to document it for myself, and then we'll have a solution in the future. Yeah, you meant Allison and Carter. Yeah, I don't I don't know why she wouldn't be showing up. I my guess is one of the problems we have with the design of the chapter three quest lines is there's so many player choices and so many concurrent running quests that there can be conflicts with uh, AI packages. So, so under one banner I think is gonna be a huge problem child in that regard, is that there's a lot of opportunities for we're trying to tell a character, hey, come to HQ as an envoy, and then some other quest you're doing has other ideas for what that character should be doing. So it's going to take a while to work out all those. What do you think, Jake? You any comments on that? You got any thoughts? What do you think? Hey. hey. And there we have it. Oh, there he goes. A fine plot of land ready for cultivation. This from the guy who wants underwater to cactus. I like it. Glad to hear. All right. We've built a home, a farm. Next thing is a place to work. You know, somewhere folks can perform a little industry. Gather scrap or do a bit of scaving. That kind of thing. Go ahead. Put down an ASAM that's programmed for that. Okay, let's get our industrial on. William Hollock, waiting for hotfixes to slow down before I install. That's fair. That's fair. Um, which, speaking of, uh, huge shout out and thanks to all you guys who uh, power through and play our releases. Now that we've gotten ourselves the reputation for for taking a while to get things all uh, all uh, working perfectly. But Let's let's rephrase that. We we're playing in Fallout 4. We're never gonna have things working perfectly, but we're gonna get as close as we can, and we'll have hacks where we can't get things perfect. Junk storage. Oh yeah, that's right. It starts after we get out of workshop mode. Can I get to have no modding experience, but could you use clones or second version of characters as envoys? Uh, we did that in some cases, yes, where we have uh, second copies of characters, but other characters like Allison, where you, we intend on her being a companion at some point, or sometimes we use vanilla companions like Preston and uh, X8, where you might, or X, what is this, is it X6 or X8? X686 or X868, I can't remember which, but anyway, um, like characters like that show up as part of the envoys, and you could have given them different gear, so we don't want them to break your immersion that way, whereas... Um, our clones, you know, the only way that they're going to break immersion is if you're using a mod that changes them, and hopefully then eventually okay, somebody will put out a patch to solve that problem, I'm but some characters, we, we can't use clones for various reasons. Are the medical people supposed to be chrome? Because I kind of like it. No, definitely not. That's I don't know why that happens. I think it's the... Um, it has to do with... So uh, Nero actually did that outfit set, and his outfits, he did Jake's as well, um, his outfits always have this weird quality about their material files. I don't know, he just does something different than like what Bethesda does, I think, because they actually show up invisible in the CK, um, and I think it's related to that for why those textures don't work on Xbox for some reason. You need folks to gather useful building materials, and a storage unit will encourage people to do that. Wood, steel... Maybe even a little asbestos to help keep warm. You get, uh, Carrie, who do you, you get the chrome textures on PC? Works. I've never seen that. I would love to see, um, to try and figure out why that happens. I 
of screw now. <laughs> Less screw and he's just leaning. <laughs> he started using the animation marker on the plot. That's funny. Yeah, Yogi, the building frame didn't show up, so that's um, uh, that's. I see that on PC occasionally too. I don't know why that happens. Um, it's one of those ones where, like, if I walk through the code, there's no possible way for it to happen. But we, you know, you watch it happen, and it's like, okay. Um, and it, usually what's funny about this is like, uh, there's a, there's a thing in, um, uh, there's a, a thing in science. I don't remember the, the qu exact quote that's famous for this, but it's something along the lines of, uh, you can't, you can't observe things without changing them. Time and so like, if we write no in a bunch of debug code to trace out step-by-step step what's page. happening with a plot to try and find like, all right, let's try and research why sometimes the scaffolding doesn't appear. It will never, ever happen. You could run a thousand things with the traces and something like just the act of putting the traces in there does something to the code that causes it. I think it's a matter of um, probably slows down the, the, um, the VM, which runs the scripting. So I think part of the issue we run into with a lot of Sims elements mechanics across the board is the game is allowed to terminate papyrus scripts at will. So well, it can just are. be like, okay, this All script is running too long coming. and the game is going to start Although suffering frame rates. So it can just like shut down scripts. Forever. So Eventually this is why we have like all these hollow tape so tools and we have these utilities that run in the background like in game periodically to, to reset the data. Need. Even Bethesda did that. Excuse there is a um let's see if I can skip the dialogue. No, I can't yet. Um you two young and there is a thing in the game where every single day in game and every time you arrive back at a settlement yeah Something it takes like all of the settlers Actually, we just and reassigns these. them to all the things they own because walls, they know so? that there are problems in the engine with scripts just dropping here, information. So something like the workshop system where you're expecting some sort of stability and, and uh, build up over time. You know, you want to see your, you your numbers get higher and higher. Um, like even Bethesda knew That's right. in Papyrus We're that they rebuilding. couldn't rely <laughs> on the scripts. So we've built this easy. like monster hey, empire suggest. game on this very it unstable, shaky ground. Unfortunately, uh -huh. it is getting dangerous out. I'd welcome the help. It's actually one of the how things when like that? people ask me like how, how long are you going to stay with Fallout 4? And like the only thing that keeps me from saying I'm never leaving is because I know how shaky the foundation of this game is. I'm sure you'll. Now, if you'll excuse like one day, I would love to be able to uh, uh, kind of rebuild all the systems on a on a new platform. It I don't know if I'll have it in me, yeah, but you I would be, that would be very cool. To I do. should get going. Oh, and good luck with your settlement. Hey, where's that ASAM fella going? I wanted to ask him a few questions. <laughs> I'm sketch about Creation Kit too. Yeah, it'll be interesting wrong. to see what they've changed in maybe it. Maybe I can help. Uh, maybe you could. You're the head honcho around this place, I mean, to be right? fair, Bethesda did not See, set out to make a big systems a game, but I will say, like, here, with, so um, uh, what do you call it, with Starfield, with having, like, across planet stuff and, and know, having, like, outposts sure that generate resources and research order, trees, and I'm guessing they probably food. added in some new stuff to support the kind of gameplay we're doing. Like, obviously, they're probably not going to do anything at this scale because the average player is not looking for a 4X type game experience. Uh, that's just like too much for most people so they'll have a much simplified version but even a simplified version they have to have better data storage mechanisms if they want it to to be uh satisfying that's a good idea well i've been known to have a decent idea uh -huh. now i had to restart These because i can never get the quest complete for state of war i hope that was just a mod conflict is there any way is there any changes for war is good for business if you beat fo4 uh yeah if you beat the base game war is good for business um you won't be able to have multiple of the main vanilla factions as your ally, but I believe you get a much bigger presence. So if they, if you feed, if you finish the game as institute, you'll see like lots of synths and coursers with you on that battle, stuff like that. Um, whereas the uh, the deeper you go onto a particular faction, the more they will offer support early on. Uh, but as far as state of war, state of war actually one of the things I think one of the misconceptions about State of War and Under One Banner is that you need to actively finish them. Um, they actually self-complete eventually. You do have to do the objectives, but eventually for each of them you get to a generic objective. For State of War, it's like hold the Commonwealth, and once you get to that point, you're just supposed to play the game. Um, and then with uh, Under One Banner, I think it's like like help factions you've met or something like that. 
and uh, or help the people you've met, something like that. And then that's the state where there's nothing you need to actively be doing. In fact, I think all of Underwind Banner is like that. There's really there's very little you actively ever need to do. All right, now this quest can be janky on PC. Another one of those ones on my radar of like, I don't understand why, but I aim to fix it or come up with some like smoother solution for the objectives because the objectives are so wacky. Um, and I would like to improve that experience. But for now, we'll just build some plots. So we'll just count them off in our heads. So we need, we have two work plots. So we need to get at least three more. And with how many people we have, we will get at least one more uh, agricultural. And we got to keep our build limit in mind here too, so we are going to want to scrap a lot. Like even if we don't need the resources, we just need the build limit back. Let's go build another agricultural. I tend to love to build in little zones everywhere. I guess we, and we're gonna immediately get more people and I would like, and we're gonna have to give them plots too. So I'm not gonna bother with a um, three by three. Because the quest doesn't actually react to that. Yeah, you can see like the, um, the objectives just keep updating. I've never been able to figure out why it does that. I mean, I know roughly, like, I, know, I understand why it's updating in the sense of, like, we have it testing constantly because we want it to feel snappy, but um, why it keeps, they keep going up and down. It's very odd. It'll be like, first it says you have one, then you have three, then you have four, then you have zero. <laughs> uh, oh, that's awful. All right, now we need some residential plots. Go build on our housing slab over here. You, can, you guys can see how I end up with like the same exact sanctuary design every time I play. Alright, come on, snap. Snap. This is going to be so painful without place everywhere. You guys on Xbox are saints for putting up with this. four okay, we'll do one more and then we're gonna take a breather so that we don't overwhelm papyrus because we are playing on xbox here uh, we'll do you right in the bushes <laughs> just triggered it over and over again all right i'm gonna let this thing rest for a bit and we'll go to chat uh, uh, Street Tron is a fellow modder. I know the general pains you folks are going through. Hopefully, this time around, the base settlement system will be a hair more stable and easier to mod. Yeah, I think, I mean, I think, like, there's a lot of, if you watch a lot of the, um, the talks from Bethesda and, like, uh, interviews about the production of the, the games, like, they mention that the workshop system almost didn't make it into Fallout 4. Like, it was, like, kind of a, Probably something they were on the tail end of like cutting off for like, okay, now we're gonna, this is the end of our features. We're gonna focus on this. Um, and at that point they were considering cutting the workshop system and it never got put at the engine level. So like this type, like it's actually, if it weren't for that happening though, we probably wouldn't have some settlements because the workshop system should have been done at engine level. It should not be entirely done in Papyrus. Um, and I think they ran out of time to get it at engine level. So it ended up at Papyrus, and we were able to just totally go nuts on it. Uh, so my assumption is that both with Fallout 76 and Starfield, it's now at engine level. So it'll be much faster, much more stable, but it also means it probably has way fewer hooks. So it'll be interesting to see uh, what modding is going to be like for it and uh, you know, I, how much they've uh, been inspired by looking at the Fallout 4 modding scene to be like, oh, we should, we should open up. Isn't some of these the functionalities the radio message is this your settlement it's very nice we had to leave her home do you think script center team got early sick. copies of starfield so i, I doubt you're it looking for people and it's no trouble i bet well, they'll get an early like copy of um uh follow for next gen though because of course go right ahead Bethesda knows oh, how uh, grumpy we get Don't worry. in the, the heavy mod players how Just grumpy we get when they break all of our playthroughs 
and then that's bad press for them. Whereas they could solve that by just leaking a build to the FRSE team a little for a week or two in advance so that they can update. Advanced. HQ Power tell me I had 720 and then zero. Yeah, yeah, it's another one of those. The uh, the objectives are really screwy. I think it's because I'm u I think I'm using the objective system incorrectly because there's a couple of there. One of the things that gets um, I don't know if I want to say confusing or frustrating that gets awkward. I will say with um, with modding the game is there are often a bunch of different ways to do things with Papyrus. You know, it's the same way with any programming language. There's often like a bunch of different methods you can approach. And I, and sometimes it's unclear what the best way is. And so uh, I've got objectives set up in one way for these things that involve counters. And I've got some set up in different ways. And I've got to like really pay attention to which quests are working best and switch everything over to that method. We started doing that with our HQ radio system. So we've noticed that some of the HQ radio calls work flawlessly and then others are just jank as hell and people will report all the time that they quit working. Uh, and so I've started, now that I've found a couple that work really well, I've started to like change all of them over to that method. So you'll probably see a lot of patch notes uh, in the last couple of hotfixes and going forward where it's like switch such and such HQ radio call to new method. Um, and so I, I kind of got to go do the same thing with objectives. Find all the ones that are funky versus the ones that work great and try and mirror the ones that work good. All right, how many was that? I'm losing track here. Six out of eight. I guess we'll do one more agricultural because eventually we'll get more people. I need more food. Now, technically, I don't need any food and everything. Like, just having the bare minimum. So... Uh, right now we're playing without citizen needs on because I switched us over to automated mode. Like that's why we don't have building costs or anything. So you know we're playing in a in the easiest possible mode because that will minimize what I actually have to build. That's just a good good way to go on Xbox. Um, put it on automated mode, not for the sake, not necessarily because you're looking for an easy experience, but just because it means you don't have to cram as much stuff into your settlements, which is risky. Um, I would say, I, I mean, you can still play it, like, you know, part of me when I was planning out this series, because it's been something, like, in the back of my mind that I've been wanting to do this for a while, uh, is uh, that I should try playing in higher difficulty just because you should be able to, um, but I would rather have first playthrough on Xbox. I don't know if I'll do more than one or not, but really first playthrough just be a smooth experience to be like, all right, maybe you can't get the full, I can't show you and prove to you the full feature set will work but like let me show you a way you can get through it because like at the end of the day even though we're you know we're a systems mod uh it's also become like a story mod in a big way um the the amount of effort that our writers have put into making these wonderfully lovable characters um there's no denying now that we are kind of evenly split in fact i would say current state we are more of a story mod than a um, systems one because our story runs a lot smoother than a lot of our systems um, I think our plot systems are great I really like the plot gameplay I feel like it's very well balanced I feel like it it generally works well I'm not gonna say it just works because I don't want to summon the spirit of Todd um, but uh, it generally works and feels good and now we need to do the same thing to like HQ and then Ultimately, the war mechanics to get that same level of um, cohesion and, and extra polish put in, and then I'll feel like we're we're deserving of like an equal split between being called a systems mod and a uh, story mod. But I, I like this. This is how I'll probably do all projects I work on in the future. It will be a combo. Um, I like building systems, but I find systems so much more enjoyable if there's a story to introduce you to them. Because I find like when I get dropped into a new uh, 4X or a, um, you know a game like Minecraft, I just it takes a long, long time for me to get sucked in. But you give me that same exact experience with a with a little story, and I'm like hooked immediately. And then it gives you like interesting avenues to teach stuff too. You can kind of disguise some tutorials.
Side of 404, there's a Chapter 3 save on Nexus with no mods, Commonwealth Rising running, just check Chapter 3 seems to not trigger. Also, production code seems to go berserk, like a my save. Oh, cool, that'll be a good one for uh, testing with. Let me write that down. Um, can you guys post, can you get me, Saito, can you grab me the um, the number code in the mod name? I know you guys can't post link, but can you post that number code? And I'll just write that down, I'll go download that tomorrow. Jerry Cook says, help if you can. Help if you can with what? I think I missed an earlier message. All right, where are we at with our objectives? Let's check here. Welcome back, sir. Oh, hello, Codsworth. You could say that. I made a few new friends. Can't have enough of those these days. I realize that I'm... Sure. Uh, no, no, not now. All right, then. Because I think the, the, the thing you guys are talking about with the um, running away companions, I think only happens to humanoids, right? Because it's clearly it hasn't happened with me with dog meat. Oh, maybe it did happen with dog meat. Where is dog meat? Doggo, where are you? Are you are you fleeing from combat forever? Oh, you look sick. A dangerous look about you. Hope you ain't here for me. No, you're just depressed. Okay. Because I actually don't think we have the sick animations on. Oh, here's dog meat. There he is. Hey, buddy. Uh, we don't have the sick animations enabled on Xbox. That had to be sacrificed. Those took up a lot of space. Bright tech automated HQ when? Because I really hate HQ. Uh, automated HQ will, so I have, um, uh, we have a bunch of projects post launch and the very first two that I'll be doing, doing systems wise, one is expanding the units and loadout system because it, for those of you guys who have played through some of the envoys, those characters are all promising you things that you don't have access to. And so we're going to rectify that. We have it mostly done. Um, it's just, we ran into a lot of issues during testing where it was like, there was clear, um, differences in what I coded versus what was envisioned by the people designing the units. And so we needed to rectify that and I didn't have time. So I was like, all right, we just got to cut those and then we'll come back to it. And then the second system will be HQ 3.0, which is going to be automation, um, polishing up a lot of stuff. I'm going to hopefully tighten up Commonwealth Rising and change the quest depending on your difficulty level. Because one of the things that's really irritating about that quest is how many pop-ups come in doing it it's just too much information um, and i would like to do a preparing for war hollow tape if you guys haven't seen that it's something that you get handed during chapter three and it's like a quest uh, a hollow tape where you can trigger little tutorials on the new mechanics and you can do the tutorials as many times as you like um, right. And all the pop-ups no only come up when you have that tutorial those tutorials running and well, i want to do the same thing for each Oh. Then you oh, don't know that was the best I have Maybe ever seen that scene play out, and it happened on Xbox, like where she's actually hitting it every time with the kicks. Who would have thought? I would not have guessed to have the best playthrough. Anytime we have scenes with multiple characters in a settlement, it's it's a crapshoot. Um, a lot of time, that's a lot of times you'll see like the conversations where one character's on the other end of the settlement, and the camera keeps jumping all over the place. Um, like, thank God for the dialogue camera, because otherwise these settlement scenes would be impossible. Anybody who's played through Conqueror knows how bad it can get. Um, and also, you probably understand now why we have so few scenes in settlements in SS2, because we learned our lesson from Conqueror. I could have a chat with her. 74127. All right, thank you, Sarah. Sensor thing. I want uh, to build a store. Download. You know, somewhere I could sell stuff. That'll be a but perfect save for me a to store? solve that bug permanently. I don't think the sensors can build those. Can they? Maybe. Cal Hawk, I'm not sure if, I'll have, if you'll have an answer for this, but you know, would the mod Baca Max Osiris Ops be beneficial for us to a critic cause issues? Um, some of our our testers have tinkered with that, and they said there's a there's a little bit of a benefit to it. Um, shaves off a few seconds off of like city plan building, and I'm sure it does some other, has some other benefits to it for sure. I'll go see him immediately. Oh well, that's great. In the meantime, I'll get the new arrivals settled. And hopefully prevent more property damage. Good luck. How could old Paul help you? Jerry Cook had to delete my 12-hour playthrough because of it. Sorry, I don't. I'm keep missing your other messages. Stranger is not spawning. I see you said. Um, I mean, I don't. I don't know why I'm like. Obviously, I'm playing it here on Xbox. It's working. I don't know what could be preventing it from from people, uh, from it not spawn from him not spawning. I have no idea. I mean, it's got it's got to be a mod conflict. So, uh, 
FYI, if you, I just I saw somebody mention Paul's clothes and Lily's clothes. We're playing on Xbox right now, so they don't get any of our... They, they get, like, three of our custom outfits. They get, like, Nightingales, um, Jake, maybe Teresa. A couple of people have outfits, but almost all the outfits had to be removed because we just didn't have enough space. Uh, let's see here. We're going to do another save. I haven't done one in a while. That's ballsy of me. Stupid, but ballsy. Mal, I'd love a spinoff with Aiden, Algernon, and Salvador. They're secretly military bros in my head cannon. Well, I mean, that's one of the reasons I'm actually really... Oh, we don't have a perk point. I'm just so used to it being like, oh, every time I complete a quest, I gotta level up, I gotta deal with... Um, uh, one of the reasons that I really want to pursue Conqueror... I, I love the story, I love the characters that we did for that, but I think a lot more people will be willing to play it when they hear that... Uh, Aiden is the antagonist in it, and they'll be like, "Oh, I kind of want to. I want to see more Aiden content." And they might might give it a try when they might have otherwise not wanted to. Uh, I think the other thing, we're if we do get to reboot a, uh, Conqueror, I think we'll rewrite a little bit of the intro sequence to make Jammer at the beginning feel more like he does uh, later in the story because we we had he had like a big personality shift once um, we kind of got in the groove of things. So there's like a big difference between Jammer at the beginning of Conqueror and like once Ophelia shows up, he just feels like a very different character, much more likable. Um, and so I would love to have it to where he has that vibe when you first meet him so people can kind of get into him a little easier. Can I, uh, roughly how long does uh, When It Rains takes to start after finishing Belated Returns? I think it, we use, almost all of our timers are 24 hours. Occasionally we do one that's 48. And then what we started doing in Chapter 3 especially, but we, we did it a couple times in Chapter 2, is we have another test that's you teleport somewhere in the Commonwealth world space. And by teleport, we just mean... Um, where's that radio coming from? Teleport, we just mean that you transfleet between an interior and an exterior. So, you know, walking outside is considered a teleport. It doesn't have to be fast travel. So usually going in and out of locations, we'll, we'll have a chance to trigger the stuff. Hi. Oh, hey there. Didn't expect to be seeing you again. Is something up? It's not the ASAMs, is it? That's why I'm here. Ah, uh, so keep it. Mm, okay. What else do Skipping you through. Reminder uh -huh. again, if you uh, want to see me play through the whole thing, got a couple playthroughs up of it tip? where I actually listen to all of Alan. Mm -hmm. I got it in Vault 111. 111. Here we're trying to find uh, Xbox. Uh, make sure that this works well on Xbox and find the little quirks. I woke up at one point. We got a few of them now. Some people. Oh. Uh huh. I mean, not the frozen. Sure. I'm sorry. But what? That's right. I was in cryo. Street trial, man. Sometimes, like as punishment, go back to New Vegas to help with uh -huh. bug fixes or update mods. I want to help. That's <laughs> it. Well, mm -hmm. yeah, it's hard going back. Like mess loading up like the uh, Skyrim CK now is. Whew, it's painful. Uh, little chief, when quest skipping to any quest uh, after the scene. Wait. Hey there. Raiders. Oh, there he goes. That was weird. Okay, we're gonna pause. We need that scene. I don't know if that scene broke because I was skipping dialogue, but I don't like that that just happened. So we're gonna put that down as uh, MQ04 Paul scene uh, test skipping dialogue on PC. Put this on my notes because I don't know if that that is a uh, P, if that happens on PC too. If you power through. Uh, if that's an Xbox thing, I don't know what's going on there. Take it easy. It'll be all right. Just tell me what happened. Back at the settlement, a whole bunch of them. They've taken hostages. Please, you gotta hurry. Damn raiders are like rad roaches. You crush one and five more crawl out. Well, don't you? All right, let's go. Right you are. Come on, get the lid out and move before somebody gets killed. Okay, let's go. 
Little Chief, when quest skipping to any quest after the scene with Jake in the church, the church cleaning never triggers and remains unfinished permanently. Hmm. So the church cleaning actually isn't tied to the main quest at all. It's actually tied to, um, to talking to Edmund. So I don't know if that changes the math for you or not, but... Otherwise, we can uh, try and replicate that. One of the things that we have on our um, to-do list is a really challenging thing that I might put out a request to the community to help with because it's going to be a tall order. Uh, one of the things we have to do with the cheat holotape is we need to do this crazy um, walkthrough of like, all right, skip quest one. Now play through the entire quest line and look for bugs. Now, now roll back, skip quests one and two, play through the entire quest line, see if we get any bugs. Uh, and do that for every quest. Then do it all again, but don't skip quest one, only skip quest two. Don't skip quest one, only skip quests two and three. And like, it's like, I, I don't know what the math on this is. It's gonna be like 40 factorial number of tests we gotta do, but that's how complicated the cheat system is. So the cheat system needs like an extreme deep dive um, to figure it out. And this is why there's, that you can run into weird bugs with it. And why I always tell people just use it as an emergency button because Lord knows what, you know, what combination of quests that you did and skipped, what kind of outcome that will create. Because we use a lot of our stages on our quests um, to represent your choices so that we can make uh, changes accordingly. Oh god, I'm still running this mini game. Um, so, in quest skipping, like, rather than having to ask you, you know, what did you answer to every single dialogue tree, we just kind of skip to the objective points and we make, like, the bare minimum number of stage sets. And that can have unintended consequences. So uh, let's go ahead and quick save here. Um, so yeah, the cheat system is super complicated. I don't remember if I have to have a conversation with old Paul here, or if we can just go in. I just want to trade a few things. Nope. And don't get all gum ho now. Those raiders have hostages. Oh, and now they're going to go fight bugs. <laughs> Those random encounters. Alright, what do you got to say for me, buddy? Hold it! Take one step closer and I shoot. What's going on here? You stupid! What do you think's going on? Look, I'm sure we can work this out. No one has to die. You wasted a whole bunch of us at Conquer. So now you're going to watch some of your people die. Uh, Could a hundred caps change your mind? A hundred caps? You trying to insult us? No deal. They die. Oh, uh, well, we tried. Whoa, did you guys see that physics bug? He just launched into God knows where. Alright, all you, Jake. Take them down. While they're distracted with those bugs. Where'd they go? Oh, you're a raider. Nice. Anybody else? Checking with the stranger. Wait, wait, wait. I want to get some loot first. Where'd that exploded head go? Let's see. Did our settlers all walk over to the sunset? They did. Oh, we got some upgrades. Ooh. Sorry, settler. You died for our low charisma cause. Alright, let's upgrade our gear real quick so we don't just get wrecked in combat. Is that everything? Pull up another chest piece. There we go. Alright, where are you at? Jake, come here. <clears throat> Damn. Oh, I guess my chat got stuck. Uh, Jake, is there any way I can move him to me on Xbox Series X? Oh yeah, I was going to show you guys that. Jake doesn't show up at your settlement. So here's the question is though, did you build multiple recruitment beacons? Because if so, like, and before you had to have done it before you installed the mod for this to do anything for you. Of course. What's up? But I'll show you after I'm done with this conversation. Let's skip through it real quick. It seems like people are finally. Mm hmm. Here's the thing. You made some good points. Sure. Nope. You've already seen for 
What if I, were I just realized we're playing. Are we playing without subtitles? That is unlike me. If you will, I've got plans. So. All right, I'm in. <laughs> I suppose a prop. Uh, thanks. You too. All right. With the formalities out of the way, let me answer a query of yours. Earlier, you showed an interest in getting more out of Asa. Now that's something you really. However, the. Go on. It's a problem we've. The place with the. But I reckon. Get together, we could break into the little base and grab some. Unlocked. Multi-person residential. Awesome. Fight. So you think you'd be? Able Don't worry. I'll help you deal with these raiders. Well, all right. Now this equipment we're after was delivered from Concord Hall, so that's where we'll be heading. Right. I understand a nearby farm has had recent. It might be worthwhile asking him about it. Oh, let's see if I fix this Abernathy issue. I, it's so funny the Abernathy also, locket thing. For the longest time, uh, people assumed that we were breaking it, and we hadn't uh -huh. done, we hadn't touched it at all. And then people started reporting that again when Chapter Three came out, and I was like, "There's no way! Like we never touched that." And it turns out we were breaking it at with Chapter Three because we added a new copy of the Olivia cell and. Uh, the way the game works with things, it uses these things called location ref types. And it's basically like different chests and enemies get flagged with this extra bit of data to mark them as special. And then the game will look for those and it doesn't distinguish between cells. It looks at location records. And so sometimes when we clone a cell, it's technically part of the slain location. So we were breaking that quest in the initial launch of, uh, of chapter three or the 3.0 patch. And it's fixed now, but we interested. Well, it should be fixed now. <laughs> Let's hope, hope, uh, we uh, can complete the quest, so I might as well go grab it, get the little extra XP. Um, but, oh yeah, I was going to show you guys how to change Jake's uh, location. So if you open up the holotape, and you can actually grab, you don't have to wait for Jake to show up to do this. You can get this holotape in Concord. It's like right on one of the tables in uh, inside the hardware store, and I even put it in a spot where you can reach it through the window if you're hoping not to trigger Preston's quests for some reason. Um, and then if you go into Tools, Advanced Tools, and do change main quest settlement you can actually pick a you can do the select new main quest settlement and it'll let you pick a settlement and then jake will be parented to that and then you just leave and leave to diamond city or something excuse me and then come back to that settlement and he should be there stop wandering around somewhere all right let's go to the abernathy's actually we should save and since i've been just hanging out and talking with you guys a whole whole night uh, anyway, while we're playing, because this is not a really focused playthrough, um, I'm not going to do the usual stop and hang out and chat. We're just going to keep talking while I'm playing. Keep going, see how far we can get into this. Jerry Cook, what mods do you have besides from SimSolomon's Workshop Framework? All I have is those, and I have... Actually, can I show you guys my load order from this screen? I think I can. So go to mods. This is it. This is all I got. Workshop Framework, the chapters, and HUD Framework. Kept it super simple. I want to have no conflicts. Excuse me. That's close enough, stranger. We're a peaceful farm. We don't want any trouble. It's okay. I'm friendly. Not looking to cause any trouble. If you say so, but be warned. We're armed here, so don't try anything. Let me tell you, farming ain't easy. Out in the field all day, every day, and every minute of have you guys heard the story about about three dog uh i actually i uh talked with eric before we cast before we got into the main character um and he was willing to do he was willing to do it he, we were gonna have to pay him obviously but he was willing to uh be our main character as work. three dog if bethesda that. would give us their blessing like and they would not do that they said up. you can do it but we can't give you our legal blessing like like you're like it was basically like we won't say or i don't think they said you can do it It was more like we won't say no <laughs> so, but we can't give you our blessing either legally because it's they would basically be I'm, signing off yeah uh you for trademark issues they'd have trademark this. issues basically if you? they give think about the blessing to use their characters um so but yeah eric was in he was ready to do it for us i'm sure i'll give it a try someday well good luck to you then because I thought that would have been, that could have been an awesome way to do it. Three Dog is uh, spreading his spreading the word of uh, be ready to deal with the raiders. Why do all the hard work when you can just fighting the power and everything across different areas? I think that would have been awesome. He would have had we'd have had to age him quite a bit because what's what's the difference in uh, what's it probably like twenty years between Fallout's three and four? 
Sounds like bad news to me. You really are new to these parts. Best armed bastards in the Commonwealth. You have something they want, they won't hesitate to take it. Last time those raiders hit us, my daughter Mary tried to stand up to them. Now she's buried out back of the house. Only oh, it's only 10 years. years. I thought it was longer because McCready seems so much thought. older. That's why we need the Minutemen back. And the sooner, the better. That duplication thing actually happens with the basics plan for Castle with the radio transmitter. There's nothing oh, the castle is so problematic with uh, me, with city plans. Between the, the radio transmitter see. and the um, walk, artillery plans, that Mary, it's, uh, they took her locket too. it's a pain. It's been in Connie's family for generations. If you could get it back, it'd mean a lot to Sure. Me. Don't worry. I'll get that locket back for you. Good. Connie feels like it's a part of Mary. I don't think she'll rest easy again as long as it's gone. Okay. Poor guy. Losing his daughter like that. Why don't we go give those raiders a little payback in return? Oh. So that's some nice foreshadowing there, Sarik. I never noticed, uh... Like, that never clicked for me. That he's telling you that line well before you know about his daughter. So that's, uh... Of course he'd be feeling for, for uh, Abernathy's. Very nice. And that is not, we did not retcon that in. That has been in since the beginning of the mod. We do retcon some things in periodically to uh, better cement our story and make it feel whole. Um, you know, there's arguments about whether we should, and I try not, I, I don't like when we do it super blatantly because, uh, especially if it modifies vanilla locations that you're super familiar with, but the, the way we always think about it is the fact that most of us tend to play Bethesda games in a similar way, which is we will play them, and then come back to them some number of years later, or maybe the next year or whatever. Like, I know some of you guys are, on, are like me and play it on repeat, but um, I think most of us play them just periodically, and so there'll be enough time to forget, and you'll be like, oh man, was that in here all this time? Uh, so, you know, looking at it from like the clean playthrough, you know, what, is the, what does the experience feel like? All right, we need, oh, we got a level up to do here. What do we need? I don't know if I'm gonna, I guess I want the action boy just for the sprinting. <laughs> Even though I said earlier, I should, it's dangerous to sprint on Xbox. That's not true yet. It'll be true once we get heavily built settlements and when we go to Boston, but out here, I can keep sprinting. So we should start making use of vats once we get into more difficult combat here. Oh, let's see how the... Oh, I want to save right here. I, I have a report about this scene getting stuck. I'm curious. Because I did make a little tweak to it during our last uh, Bug Fix Live. Or maybe two ago. I'm curious if... Uh, We're near the cash. Just give me a second. This works or not. Let's see. I hid this stuff a while back when I first checked out the area. Aha! Dale Muppin and Looks subscribe. Like Thank you. Here. Got his baseball helmet. How do you like the headwear? Pretty cunning, don't you think? I think you look pretty good. Oh, you're too kind. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't want you feeling that out now. Here, for you. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's get our... No, oh, that didn't break. Okay, I don't know what that person was talking about. Uh, all right, let's get our... Where's our batting helmet? Nope. There, there we go. Matching helmet. There we go. Batting buddies. We're ready. Need to get some sluggers from Mo. Alright, then there's like a scene. I think the scene is skippable because it's super awkward to trigger. But just in case. Actually, let's save. Let's see what happens if we run ahead and don't do this scene. Let's see if we have this covered. Because I can see a lot of people doing this. Where's all my raiders at? Uh oh, that's not good. That should not be there immediately. I'm gonna hold back. Scout the area for nasties. I'll let you deal with the raiders directly outside Olivia. Once you're done taking out the trash, I'll meet you at station's entrance. 
That makes me think we got a bug already, because that you shouldn't see the controller is not supposed to show up until our uh, cell is available. So we may have a little bug here to deal with. Whoa! Yeah, give me that 10 mil. Bloat flies with bottle caps. Checks out. Give me the vodka. That was more of a, uh, that was less Russian and more Dracula. Too much read. My uh, kids love the, uh, okay, what's that? What's that Dracula thing with uh, Adam Sandler? That's the voice of it. All right, dog meat. Dog meat still not running away. Who did we say the best companion to get with Piper, right? Shadow Man Phantom mad at you for the final quest reward of Chapter 3. Less of a thing for the entire game. <laughs> oh, was he even waiting Those here? Those raiders were already yesterday's news. All right, just don't go too far away. Good job. You really don't <laughs> like raiders, do you? There were a few lookouts around the perimeter, but I took care of them. You liar. Shouldn't have to worry about anyone raising the alarm. Hotel Transylvania, yeah, that's what now. I was thinking of, Connect. See, before we head in... Would you care for a bit of advice? Hmm. Sure. sure. What's up? This particular raider group packs a little more artillery than the usual riffraff. And that includes some nasty big miniguns. Just remember... Shoot you one, I know you're deep in chapter three. Optics and Starfield is soon, but will the charity mod so be getting another bug fix, bug fix pass anytime soon? What's broken in the charity mod? I did a bug fix pass. Is it something still hit, broken? I, can't see you. I thought I had fixed everything. I always appreciate good advice. Come on. Let's head on in. Uh, Algeron, trying HQ first time. I don't have enough facilities energy to build a living quarters. I think it's a bug. I can recruit anyone yet. I can't recruit anyone yet. Still in tutorial. There's a, there's actually a fix for that. I put in the hollow tape because it's not something that we can replicate regularly. Like occasionally I run into it, but it's I don't know what it is. So I just put a fix in for it. If you go to tools. Um, advanced tools. I think it unlocks in here after you get to that point, but there's something in here that gets added. Um, is it oh, under here? Quest fixes, maybe? Yeah, I think if you go to quest fixes, there'll be one listed specifically for how to HQ. So go to, let me go back to that again. So it's under tools, uh, advanced tools, quest fixes, and then you'll see one listed there for how to HQ. So try running that. All right, let's see if this is correct because this should not this is not meant to appear until i wonder if i just i enabled it by mistake um trying to resolve the when i was trying to resolve the bug people reported with the uh what do you call it with the locket so i'll add that to my list check uh hijack controller for usaf Starting visible. Yeah, one of the the down one of the reasons I want to get out of um, hot fix mode soon is because we have to do testing of one. So we have like we get a save that has the issue, and whoever fixes it, they are the only person who has time to confirm it. Because if we're gonna hot fix, it's gotta be fast. So I don't like that. I would pref I prefer our two week patch cycle because basically we have you know, a week to work on fixes, and then we give them to our testers to confirm for a couple of days, and then we put them out publicly for the last couple of days. And so we get um, about a week's worth of time to confirm everything and multiple eyeballs on it. And so something like that with the, uh, what would you call it? The uh, uh, hijack controller, that would have got caught generally if we had more hey, people looking at it. Of inventory. And it mentions a delivery from Concord right here. From Concord Hardware. People are having trouble with the quest completing after listening to the hollow tape in the basement. Interesting. That's funny because that's such like such an easy um, thing to do. It's like that's there's a set stage option. I mean, you guys have watched me bug fix. There's like a set stage thing in the um, hollow tape menu. So I don't know why it would why that would fail. That'll that's a yeah. I'll fix that. 
like choo choo. Um, that that'll take me five minutes. Um, so yeah, we can minutes. get a fix out for that. The hard part is going to be we did not build. Whoa! We did not build. Um, uh, what do you call it? Oh, we got a nice skull bandana for for dog meat. Hey. We did not build uh, the trunk mod for updating because it's it was we had to go fast. We didn't have time for that. Maybe we did though. We maybe we because it's just out of habit that uh, Sag would have done that. Would have put in our normal script template. But uh, but yeah, there's a chance that it'll be very difficult to fix that for existing saves. But I can at least make it work for new saves. All right, let's go kill some raiders. I don't think I've ever done a pistol build for uh, Fallout 4. This would be interesting. Anybody else? I've cleared this place so many times uh, the last couple of weeks because I've been trying to perfect um, when it rains because when it rains has several like paths it can play out in and uh, a lot of reports of one of the paths not playing correctly. <laughs> also, HQ Radio has been uh, uh, and to your guys' benefit, has been a thorn in my side for Chapter 3, whereas in, in Chapter 2... After we introduced it, I know a lot of people said it was a thorn in their side, but I could never replicate it. In Chapter 3, I'm replicating all the issues you guys have been having over the years with uh, HQ Radio. So I'm pretty happy with the latest patch of it. I did, I like completely redid the radio system, um, and the new method feels a lot better. Hello, Akak. Sorry we're not playing Conqueror, so you have to die. I need to steal that minigun before somebody takes it off of her. Ooh, ooh, jet. I gotta hockey that. Okay, no ammo left. Get them all? Yeah. Alright, finish our loot and fun over here, take the boards for the springs, oh, that Jake fight away, oh, we gotta get our, our fans on, I guess I don't really need to worry about <laughs> resources because we're playing on automated mode, so I don't really need anything, and you guys know how I feel about weapon crafting, just not my jam. Although I should get into it because my luck with uh, legendary rolls is so awful. It's over. No, it's not. Now it's over. Oh wait, he had an upgrade for me. Hey. Mighty impressive. Thanks for the help. I was not enjoying the shootout developing there. Great tech. Something I'd like to see rather than scavenging locations for armor parts that have settlements produce it. So um, that's what the vassals are actually for. So if you do, so if you set up a vassal, it basically you lose control of the settlement, which means you don't get their junk collection anymore. But depending on their plot makeup, you get different supplies, the new resource type. So it's like you're having them donate all their gear and chems and stuff to you. Originally, the plan, in fact, it's even in the tutorial pop-ups, was for um, the production class to generate them and we might still add that back in because it would just be another path to get supplies would be like oh if you want to go all in on industrial that's another path for you and I kind of like that um, but right now it's vassals are your that's where your source is for the majority of those or just trade agreements with the caravan services or NLCC no problem glad to be of service don't forget the locket I did forget the locket thank you mod hunter 
That's oh, over. I think that was right by the door right when I was box. doing my looting, right? It's in that All little right, uh, toolbox. To oh, took off your helmet. All right. I feel like there's a very strong chance I, I forget about the locket again because I don't want to go too far from this conversation up. or I'll definitely break Just it. Need to hit the last few keys on the terminal and hey, presto! <laughs> there we are. Let's take a peek inside, shall we? Help yourself to anything that takes your fancy. Only one thing I'm interested in, and I think it's right over here. If you have control vassal switched on, you do not get any military supply resources from them. That's interesting, because that I don't think that's even in the code test. I might, that makes me think that maybe you, the resources aren't working at all. I'll have to look into that. I did some changes for N for 300N, which will be hopefully tomorrow. Um, regarding the vassal, like uh, the control vassal thing, I now have it set up so that. As soon as you toggle that setting, it will um, it will immediately switch all your vassals over to that, so they all match. Because previously it was it would only update the vassals, the new ones you captured. Like going forward, any you captured would uh, I'm just gonna drop this. Uh, any vassals new that you captured would uh, stay under your control, but any previous wouldn't. And I just fixed that for for the next patch. Hey there. Well, well, well. What do we have here? Bingo. Hub note. Good old Carl. Well, well, well. Oh, we broke the what conversation. We have Looking at that note. Huh. Would you look at that? Interesting. Very interesting. Why don't you tell me what's so interesting about this? Hmm? Oh, right. Take a look. Shipper label reads from Concord Hardware. This is definitely the equipment we're here for. No mistake there. This is the ACM comm hub. As best as I understand it, this thing connects to the sensors somehow, allowing them to do more stuff. But I wouldn't really know how it does that until I turn it on. Although looking at it, it doesn't look like time's been too kind to this old gal. Oh yeah, I'm already see, look at that. Jake sucked me into his dialogue again. What now? Now, I suppose I lug this thing back to the hub. Well, I'd say we're, you were a big... Is there a voice acting awards for um, for video games? Let's get one over to Tom. Walk. No problem. <laughs> All right. See, if you've not already... Maybe check in on mm -hmm. a place called... Might be a ch I might be able to do that. Oh yeah, we're definitely well, doing West do Everett. I'll contact definitely you doing once it. Now that there's payoff in Chapter 3. There, <laughs> right? Hey. Yeah? Okay. All right, let's go grab the locket. I did remember. I did remember. Ooh, 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 ooh. I saw tell me around. Nine circles. Am I gonna get this thing back? <laughs> well, now we know you're gonna you're gonna recruit the help of Edmund. That's yet one of the other reasons I'm uh, uh, hyped to get out of hotfix mode is we have so one of the the people you were supposed to get during Under One Banner is Edmund, and uh, he was supposed to show up as an envoy. And we have the voice all recorded. We have the quest almost done, like the, the setup of his conversation. That's it. So it's like, uh, but I just don't feel right spending the time on that when there's, um, when there are people who can't even complete the quests. So that might sneak in right before Starfield comes out. So any of you guys who are not running to play Starfield and are going to keep playing SS2, you'll have a little extra, a little, little bit extra content in the short term. The rest of it, the rest of the uh, story stuff we have in the works will be um, probably coming in, like October and beyond. I'm going to give everybody on the team time to play and enjoy Starfield and get sucked into it. Hopefully they'll all come back <laughs> and not be like, nope, I'm a Starfield modder now. Or I'm retiring from modding because I remember what it's like to play games now. Oh, we got a nice army helmet. I don't know if that's... Is that better than our... Uh, we don't need these hard hats. Oh, this is an upgrade. Army helmet? Oh yeah, it's just straight up better than our baseball helmet. Well, it served its purpose of letting us hang out with Jake in matching gear. Alright, let's see here. Oh, wait, where are we headed now? Let's see, we can go to West Everett. Quests. We can go back to him. We should go to Diamond City. 
yeah, we should do all we should do all these things, I guess, because we are trying to get some vanilla stuff moving too. This is kind of fun uh, playing on Xbox. Like I'm, I'm, I keep expecting things to explode worse, or they really haven't. I mean, we haven't had any any showstoppers. We've had a little some oddities, some things I want to fix, but nothing nothing breaking us. This is awesome. Bearded kitten is probably not. A, this is probably a really stupid question, but is this the mod you made for FO4? I'm pretty noob. Just started watching your mod school. I only watched one vid so far in, through it. Yeah, this is uh, some settlements. Two is. Uh, well, Sim Settlements in general is the is the mods I'm most known for, that I've been working on for. Good Lord, almost is it seven years? When did when did we we just talked about this? Oh, I talked about it. I did a um. I did like a little podcast with with a uh, follower Toshi. And we were talking about this. It was the mod came out in 2017 March? So that's and that would mean and I probably would have worked on it for six months before it came out. So that means end of 2016 I started it so yeah seven years still two more to go I think before it's done it's it's like the story like you know we say chapter three is the final chapter we're not gonna do any more chapter releases but there's a there are a lot of not even really loose ends there are just like little bits where we feel like it's not quite complete without them and then a lot of promised features that I haven't delivered yet hey good to see you again I was hoping you'd show up. I should have listened to Mama Murphy all along. All right, here we I go. I think we could settle. The Minutemen yeah. Envoy did not show I up for me either at HQ. Mean? I think there might be... War. Oh, excuse me. Something wrong saying? with the Envoys right now. I lived here. Excuse Damn. me. Because um, I've been having a, a lot of reports were... lately of them not showing up correctly, and I don't know My if son. it's Somebody AI package issues Damn. or... Anyway, something we broke, you know, fix one thing here. and break something else. There's a... My favorite gift to post on... Discord all the time is uh, uh, this picture of a cat twisting a, a, a pipe with a pipe I've wrench favor to, ask. to close I've a leak, and then another leak pops up, and then he help. just keeps doing that, and like that's what bug fixing is like on, a, on something as complicated Someone. as some settlements. The only chance to start rebuilding trouble is. Anyway, I'm one of those people not running to Starfield. I, I've I've heard a lot of people uh -huh. saying they're not not I'd going for two reasons. One is either they're just not into sci-fi, and two being like. Yeah, but those the games that launch are not worth playing. I, I disagree with that. I've I've so far been lucky, and I've sure never had all the help any like significant bugs happen in my first time playing a Bethesda game by some freaking miracle. Um, hey, do you have a moment? I wanted to thank you oh. for helping us out in Cumber. Okay, John. Don't mention it. Shadow Man fan. What happened to Algernon and his Splinter Faction of Gunners? They never showed up again for me after they done Gen Yeah, that's another one of those son, bits of story that sure. like. It feels weird that we never delivered on that. And that actually that. was not intentional. Um, we actually had I content planned. Lost and team. we couldn't get and Algernon's voice actor locked We're down. Here. Ironically, he happened to be available long enough for us to do for um, the trunk, the uh, uh, charity mod. And he's actually the voice of the Enclave commander in that. Uh, or the Enclave uh, deserter, I guess. I don't know what his title is. Um, but, uh, we couldn't lock him, we couldn't get him to commit to locking down, and so we decided to, uh, Algernon would have to be post-launch content when he had more time. So, the, it will be a retcon of sorts, where we'll be, like, injecting him into some quests you played already, because, yeah, he's, he's obviously meant to be, like, a, a part of Chapter 3, based on what happened in Chapter 2, but... This is one of, this is one of the reasons that I, I put all of my focus, or almost all my focus, obviously we have a lot of new mechanics in, in 3.0, but a lot of the focus went into the story because voice actors are, um, it's a limited time thing. Like I can commit myself to like coding this mod out for the rest of my life if I want, but I cannot guarantee the same uh, for voice actors. And we can't, it's not like, uh, you know, we've had like 3D modelers come and go. Like we can, it's, you know, I don't want to say everybody's replaceable, but, um, they are more everybody is more replaceable than voice actors because it's really jarring when you change voice actors like a, a lot of we had to change out sickles voice actor and a lot of people noticed and were disappointed jerry cook thank you for the donation uh the unofficial fallout 4 patch was the culprit what what that sucks um so the unofficial 4 patch was stopping jake from showing up i kind of want to go test that i kind of want to go test that I'm going to put that in my list to test because if that's the case, then I need to put some, because that would be in, that would happen if you didn't sort the load order in so that workshop framework was in the right spot. 
But Workshop Framework is supposed to notify you of that. So if that notification isn't working, um, I'm going to put uh, not triggering. That actually might explain some other bugs people are having. If the, if the Workshop Framework detection of changed scripts isn't working, that would actually explain a lot of random reports people are putting up, especially because there's a lot of we. I know we have a lot of new players with Chapter Three, because um, that freaking uh, trailer was a banger, and I think it sold a lot of people to give us a go. Um, so not and uh, the fact that Bethesda was kind enough to put us in the on the homepage and in their in the in the game login screen. Um, so I think we got a lot of new folks who have no idea about the fact that you have to push Workshop Framework after UFO 4P in your load order. Putting this in my notes. There we go. You should lower the requirements under one banner. I really want to recruit all the factions. Um, we are not going to do that, um, but we are. We did decide we will support the technical semi-neutral ending you can pull off in the base game. There's a couple of YouTube videos on it where if you do um, certain quests in a certain order with Railroad and, and Brotherhood that you can get them to not kill each other, and we're going to support that ending at least. So there will be a, a path where you can get uh, three of the main factions on your side, and then everybody else will be through... Um, uh, you'll get access to parts of the factions through some other quests that we have that, like, didn't quite... We had to cut them for release. Like, they're partially finished. But where's Sturgis at? I want to get his thing started because I wonder if we just insta-complete it since we built all the plots already here. Where are you hiding, Sturgis? Another day of hard work. Never changes. Did you want any chance of getting the Enclave Commander's Unique Settler one day? Uh, I mean, if somebody wanted to mod that in, they're welcome to, but we don't have any voice files for them and we're not going to get more. Like, we're not going to add any more content to that. It was meant to be a one-and-done thing. Um, you know, I want to support it and get the bugs fixed, which I, I'm bummed to find out that I did that that was still there. I had hoped, I saw that report and I was like, oh, they must have be playing in an old version and I ignored it. Did not realize that it was still broken. Um, but yeah, that mod is meant to be in maintenance mode. We'll, we'll fix issues, but we're not looking to add any more content to it. And I think we'll end up doing that again um, next year. We'll do that. That might become an annual thing because it was a lot of fun. It was really hard. Um, and, you know, some of the people who were involved, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take some convincing to tell them to get them to come back because I'm sure it was just mental, mentally uh, rough. But uh, uh, ended up being a lot of fun. And we made a boatload of money on that, which was awesome. You guys are badass for donating so much. Uh, Jerry Coke, UFO 4P was at the very top workshop after, and that and that still happened. That is bizarre. I don't know how that could impact things. I wonder what they're changing. What else they're changing? Or I wonder if this is a new thing, like maybe something in the latest version of UFO 4P. Oh, you know what I haven't done in a while? So I used to go through every time UFO 4P had a new version, and I would check their patch notes to see if there was anything I needed to change. But they stopped doing updates to the workshop scripts. Where in the hell is... Uh, um, they seem to have stopped like I think they just trust that we've got it now like we've got the workshop scripts they don't need to mess with them um, and they seem to have stopped doing fixes to them but maybe I'm wrong on that alright you know what we're building a workshop bell <laughs> I'm tired <laughs> without without the I guess I could build the hammer too we, do, we are playing some other ones here but uh, I'm going to just build the workshop belt. Uh, it's under resources. Misc. All right, Sturgis. Come out of hiding. Oh, wait. does he? Is there an objective marker on him that I'm just missing? Yep. <laughs> uh, I deserve that. Um, can I rant? romance both Jake and Lydia with no repercussions? You can't actually romance Lydia. You can flirt with her. Um, but unfortunately, she was a voice actress we lost. So... I've never got a chance Just to record tell me what you need. that well, stuff. Starters, we could use some real so we had to like We've been re on the we had to do some last minute rewrites. Just make sure we can sleep with a roof over our heads. 
Very these unfortunate. Old houses still look solid. There's a workbench over there. But again, you can use. going back to the conversation, the talks about it. like the the um, voice actors are have become a the law the potential loss of voice actors is like always on my mind with this stuff because of Conqueror Sturgis. I like it. And there's a whole bunch. A there's actually the, we actually announced spirits. a project about a little over a year ago, and we water. had to can it because of this. We um our our intent was I'm on it. Clean water to go through up. all of our. Great. Uh, recruitable again. characters that you get from the um, uh, from the Ron's system. So where or from just building up settlements. You know we have the the recruitable settlers that will appear, and they'll, some of them will have uh, new quests for you and everything. And we had an intention of expanding all of their dialogue trees, and we got almost every single voice actor said they were in. And then because the project took so long, like we're like we we didn't get all the writing done, and there's still a lot of writing. Uh, was still going on and then some of the voice actors we got the writing done and then now they weren't available because it took us so long uh, And so we scrapped that project. We got a few of them done like three or four uh, But that project had to be scrapped because it was taking so long and because the voice actors weren't available And we just I didn't have it in me to deal with that heartache anymore uh, Okay, what did he just tell me to do? I totally spaced out there. Let's see. Oh clean water. Okay, we can do that We don't have municipal yet, so we'll just build some Water pumps. We are playing on easy mode, so we don't have, uh, what do you call it, um, maintenance costs to deal with. So we'll go ahead and build. Well, actually, let's go put this way far away where I don't have to hear the noise. We can live back here in this backyard out of sight. I actually love that they have the noise. It's just irritating when I'm trying to stream. Like, I love the sounds of the generators and everything. Wait, how much power does this take? Four? Get out of here with that. I don't know why that counted that. That should not have been. Oh, it's for the sanctuary settlers. Got it. So it's only probably those initial five that I need. Not the whole not the whole team. I mean I might as well just build them one water pump just to get everybody taken care of. Miscellane. Oop. Water. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm not playing with place everywhere. The dirt matters. Find Sturgis again. Uh, sorry, Hammer. The latest versions that have come out have been an Xbox One packaging issues. Maybe it's related to that. For uh, packaging issues from UFO 4P or from uh, SS2? Because I was a little concerned about that. Like, we have all these giant BA2s. I was like, oh man, what if some of this, these are getting corrupted I feel up there? Already. Knowing we have a reliable supply of clean water. Poker Reader 25, does Sims 2 have a Discord? Uh, it ha we have two Discords available. They're, neither of them is fully public. Yeah, One is for here, people who are learning how to mod or who are published mod authors. Uh, that's our what we call our dev server. We use that for coordinating SS2 development and also just I'll to share knowledge right with other mod authors. And then we have one for uh, patrons. But uh, we do not have the... the any man the manpower or desire to moderate a public server and i don't know if you guys know this but uh uh like it was last year or the year before discord started making it so that if you don't this place is fully moderate your own servers now that we can grow and our own food, uh, I think we can really make uh people get into it. shady stuff Trouble on your is, server your whole server can get shut down and disbanded so we're not interested in that. That's too much work. I, well, I don't understand how these big giant companies do it. <laughs> like, keep up these big... Like, how Bethesda keeps up a public a server is nuts to me. It's in the change log. Oh, there were problems with several versions of UFO 4P. Oof. I'm on it. Ah, thanks. It'll make everyone feel more secure here. Build defenses. Okay. Um, all right, I guess we're just spamming turrets because we don't have, although I think we'll unlock, if we go back and talk to Jake, I think we unlock um, the, uh, the makeshift uh, or the jury rigged and things soon, so we should do that. So we'll, uh, let's go to Abernathy here. Oh, we didn't get the map marker for Abernathy. Oops. 11.36. Oh, we, we can still go for a little while here. I think I got at least another hour in me. We're going to make some serious progress today. 
It's amazing how quickly you can go through this stuff if you skip the voice files. <laughs> the bearded kitten. I haven't done professional voice overs, but I have made hundreds of voices free to the public on Dreams on PS5. I'm I am not the most skilled or trained, but I love doing voices. It's fun times. Dreams looked so awesome. Um, like the tech they have behind that looks really, really cool. The other one I'm really impressed with now is seeing um, what people have pulled off on the Roblox modding. It's crazy. I'm actually expecting big things out of uh, the Fortnite modding thing that they added where you can use Unreal Editor. That's going to be a pretty, pretty big deal in the next few years, I think. Like, modding is, uh, the support for it is getting pretty crazy. Which, uh, which that, that actually, back for you. actually gives me hope for Bethesda game modding is because all these other companies are making it real easy to do user-created stuff that Bethesda's gonna have to match them and, like, up their game with modding. Like, as far as they're gonna have to do a better job with making the tools intuitive, putting out more official tutorials, or they're gonna fall behind. I'm sure she'll go lean on her prices after what you've done. And feel free to use our workshop. Least we can do. Okay. So we got level up, and we got a new settlement. Fantastic. Not going to build at it right now, but we got it. Oh, I just saw something. The supplies just showed up. That's interesting. That's not actually supposed to happen. Oh, yes, it is, because we're playing on... Uh, uh, it's on. It won't. They won't show up if you're on um, uh, component difficulty because there's not enough space on the HUD. You actually have to hit a hotkey to do it, and then they show up by default only if you have um, uh, if you're in an outpost. Then we made it default to the supplies because those are more relevant to you. All right, what are we gonna build? What are we gonna upgrade here? Can we improve any of these? Yes, we can get our gunslinger up. Not ready on medic yet. Uh, level 11 for savant. All right, what else do we want to grab here? I kind of want toughness because we're just kind of like, I'm not really doing stealth. I'm just kind of running around like an idiot. I guess I could do demolition expert. That could be fun. Grenades, grenades and pistols. That actually sounds fun. Let's do that. Talk to the settlers, go to Diamond City, and West Everett. So we got all sorts of stuff to do. Okay. All right, but wait, what is this highlighting? Oh, yeah, that's for the build defenses, which we're not doing yet. All right, let's start walking toward, in the general direction down here. We'll go toward Overland and then Diamond City. Off we go. Uh, Poker Breeder, where can I just ask questions and such about Tim's too? Well, this is a great spot in chat. Are people here, The a lot of the people who are watching are regulars. They're... Um, they hang out on our forums, they hang out every week here and chat with me, um, so they know a ton, they, some of them probably know more than I do about some settlements too, um, but the forums are definitely our best spot, we have a very, very active forum base. And that's at, uh, if you go to simsettlements.com or simsettlements2.com, you'll find links to the forums there. Because I think the actual, like, the sub page for forums is like, some settlements.com slash site or something really dumb like that because we weren't really thinking about what the domain would look like at the time when we were setting it up. It was like, it all happened so fast. Like some settlements went from uh, zero to a hundred overnight. Like it was just like, it blew up all of a sudden. So it was just like, uh, I recruited somebody to help set up some forums and it was just like, whatever, just put it wherever, I don't care. I'm too, much, I'm too much time supporting, I need help. And then we never changed it. Which I'm, I'm glad we didn't because we have a, like, the, it's funny, Sims Elements 2 forums are so active um, that if you do, like, general searches for Fallout 4 things, you'll often get Google results that point you to Sims Elements forums. Is there a place where I can find player builds in Sim Settlements 2? You mean like um, like city plans? There's uh, There are hundreds of city plans available. We have one that we put together a pack of them. Um, it is uh, the city plan mega pack where you can get a whole bunch. And then everybody who competes in our city plan contest every month posts their builds on 
uh, Nexus. If you're on Xbox, you're pretty much limited to the Mega Pack, which will give you... I don't remember how many we give you. I think just one per settlement. Maybe one additional per settlement, because there's, uh, there's a bug in the base game engine where if you exceed a certain amount of what we call script data, your game won't load anymore. And with PC, it's very easy to fix that. Um, with Xbox, the only way to, to fix it is to reset all your mods. You have to, like, uninstall every mod and reinstall it. It's really awful. So I try to be very cautious about how much content we put out on, on Xbox. Sorry, I'm here to fill you in specifically the texture issues. Glowing mutant hounds being fully green due to bad CK packaging. And the Far Harbor EM SM mismatch. Oh, okay. I wonder if that's... if I should talk to them about um, the packaging issues we have with SS2 and our textures. We have a lot of problems with um, textures just quit working. And I haven't figured out what the pattern is. So, like, now I try never to regenerate our uh, texture archive once I get it working. But, unfortunately, I had no choice for Chapter 3 because we needed to resize the earlier ones. We needed to get them smaller to make room for Chapter 3. And of course, some of the textures we had fixed ages ago are broken again. And I don't know how to, I, don't, I never documented how to fix them because I thought I would never have to fix them again. That was really dumb. That's actually like the life lesson that uh, I've taken most to heart during my years of Sims Elements 2 development is like documenting for myself. Of like remembering that, hey, you're never going to do this again or there's no reason for you to keep this knowledge. Um, you should document it because I'm so used to with code like when, as a coder you just document your code and that's easy but there's no real way to there's nowhere to you know there's no code to just put documentation for random stuff so now I tend to when I figure out something that took me a while I just now make a word document for it and I used to never do that for anything and now I do it for all sorts of stuff because of how many times it's bit me in the butt with modding stuff and it's like oh there's other things in life that happens with too Oh, I actually don't want to. Yeah, I guess we need. We need. We're gonna need some settlements. So, who do I talk to to get Welcome this one? Welcome to Grey Garden, darling. This is the Commonwealth's first and only. Here to Ken. It's actually bedtime. I just wanted to come say hey and see your live stream for a few minutes. Really enjoy your mod school so far. Looking forward to learning more. Yeah. Good night. Hopefully, uh, you learn a lot and pretty ingenious. put out some cool mods. I bet you can work around the clock. I actually would love to. I would love to find the time to get back to mod school again. Maybe with Starfield, I'll do it. Maybe I'll start. I, maybe I'll pay it forward and do what Seddon did for me. Seddon 4494 was like the first guy to put out a reliable series of tutorials for Fallout 4, and without him, I would not have gotten far. So maybe I'll do that for Starfield. Even if I don't go deep on modding, just making some tutorials while I learn would be cool. We are capable of complex analysis and decision making. A testament to the Nick Carter, what are your some of your favorite mods for New Vegas? I'll be honest, I have played almost no mods for New Vegas. The game that I modded the most prior to this was Skyrim. That's the game I have experience with some mods. And I not even that many. I'm uh oddly when I get into the mod mood, I tend to make mods more than I play with them. Obviously uh, the man was brilliant to come up with my something last, like this. Uh, well, not my last my last Skyrim playthrough I actually played vanilla because I was playing I had never played somehow I'd never played through the Dragonborn DLC and I was like, oh, I gotta fix that. I still have never finished it. I got that I got about halfway through uh, Solstein, and then got distracted. Um, but uh, before that, I played a pretty heavily modded Skyrim. But now that Wabajack is out, now I want to go do like a off the deep end playthrough of uh, Skyrim with like uh, what's that? What's the the super mod that's like the that everyone compares us to? Uh, was it Legacy of the Dragonborn, the one with the museum and stuff? I kind of want to go play. I want to go play Skyrim again with that and like. A big Wabba Jack list well, with that as its core. Unique. That sounds really fun. Hard to miss. I'll take that as a compliment. Any any recommendations for After stuff I should check out in New Vegas? I remember I installed at one point um, New California and Frontier, know. and then Frontier got shredded with how bad it was. Calif New California it didn't get shredded required. as badly, but it well, also like those two mods got jobs. torn apart and. Uh. And then There's I kind of got, disc and then I think I also Must did what I always do in New Vegas, is I played through until I got to Yes Man, and then I was just like, eh, I don't want to play anymore. <laughs> I've had enough. Legacy of Dragonborn and sequel Odyssey. Did the sequel come out? Did they put out that out yet? Seems 
find me. Men. Take it from me, dear. It's ghastly. Simply ghastly. Pressure is down. Radiation is up. Why, it's practically... Starhammer for the Bugless. Chapter 2 has a current release. has minor conflicts for AE268, 269. If one has the Neon Flat CZ mods, may not need the CR plugin. So I'll, I'll be honest, uh, uh, Starhammer. I don't, I don't patch. Like I <laughs> don't, don't do any patches right. for for CC or mods or anything. Um, I don't have time. I have enough bugs in my own to fix. So if that is, if it needs a patch, somebody else is gonna have to do it. Unfortunately, somebody who who has both mods and uh, and wants them both to work, or has that CC and wants it to work. With. I actually probably own all the CC content now. Um, because I wanted to integrate with it, but I hadn't even considered us conflicting with, with, uh, locations. It's still not out, Nick. Okay, cool. Yeah, I remember seeing that trailer and it looked pretty awesome. Alright, I guess I, I actually do need to do all these. Not, I don't necessarily need to do the Grey Garden one, but I do want to, like, listen to the radio and get the Brotherhood moving and everything. We'll go ahead and listen to this. This is Scribe Halen and Reconnaissance Squad Gladius to any unit in transmission range. Authorization ARCS, Ferrum, 9-5. Our unit has sustained casualties, and we're running low on supplies. We're requesting support or evac from our position at Cambridge Police Station. Am I supposed to get an objective update? Or did I already? And I just didn't notice. Oh yeah, I did get it, and I just didn't see it because my microphone was blocking it again. <laughs> I really gotta re I gotta uh, reconfigure this if we're gonna keep doing Xbox. Uh, I'm actually surprised my batteries have lasted this long in this controller. Uh, okay, what's next here? Uh, we'll go to. Oh, I got all three things to choose from. I guess we'll go to. I don't want to do the Brotherhood thing right now. Let's go to Overland. That'll be just, we'll just pick up the quest and then we'll head down to Diamond City. Should you any luck refining the Conqueror code? So I'll post on Rebel if you open season from, from Nuka World. Um, I, from what I, like I know where the code is. I actually have it all like extracted on my computer that I develop on so that I could reference it because I had to reference it a lot when I was doing the SS2 version of the war mechanics because it was just like I don't want to have I didn't want to complete I, I did end up completely reinventing the wheel from the perspective of like every drop of code for the SS2 war mechanics is from scratch uh, but I did like there were a lot of like hard learned lessons in Conqueror where it was like okay well I know I need to do this with the factions or like I gotta have this prepared and so I didn't want to so I had to reference the code a lot uh, in fact, some of the code probably is copy-pasted into the SS2 code, and I need to go delete it. It was just like I just left it there because I was referencing it, and I need to go clear it out. Hey, Hi. Settler. Um, so I have that fixed, but I, from what I remember of it, it only worked on a fresh game. So I got to figure it out. I got to dig in and figure out how it worked. But I remember, I think it required a patch want? that edited the Nuka World like workshop parent script, and so you can't do that in an existing save. But I know enough. I know a lot more now too from when I did that. So maybe I'll be able to figure out a way to do it. It's okay. That can work on existing. I'm save. with the Minutemen. I'm here to help. You're with the Minutemen? I didn't really think you fellas still. We sent word with one of them. Most people don't put. We're rebuilding the Minutemen from the ground up. We're the good guys again. Glad to hear it. No question that things have been worse since the Minutemen fell to pieces. There's a raider gang that's been giving us trouble for weeks, stealing food. And mm -hmm. We know where they're coming. Don't worry. I'll take care of oh, those raiders for you. Thanks, Rego, of course. If you folks are for real, this the one uh, the one raider dungeon that takes like forty five minutes to complete for me. <laughs> many re many save reloads. Uh, all right, let's go to Diamond City here. Where are we? We need to go this general direction. Choo choo! Thank you for the donation. Uh, here's to seven years of some settlements. And here's hoping for many more. Yeah, right now my my uh, assumption to get done what we have on paper for like little story updates and the features I want to add and polishing bugs, I anticipate two more years of uh, patching for SS2. But 
if they uh, if they fix my top five bugs for Fallout 4, I will uh, I will reconsider those numbers and how long I'm willing to stick around. Mal, speaking to CC, I saw a chapter that you go to a certain place. Here's hoping the Minutemen versus Gunner CC doesn't conflict. I, I highly doubt it does because Bethesda like barely like that was such a, um, that is such a missed opportunity. Like that was such a disappoint that CC, super disappointing. The fact that they didn't do anything with it in the base game, super disappointing. Um, yeah, they did not, they did not do enough with that. Like, I think, I'm pretty sure the CC quest is effectively just, like, go kill everybody there. <laughs> I remember watching, I didn't, I never played it, I remember watching a video of people talking about it, and, uh, going through it, and it was just like, eh, it's, it's a little more, but not, still not what we should have got. Like, you know, you want to get revenge for the, for the men. men. Oh, dog meat. Oh, we got a crit. There we go. Dog meat, where are you? I can't make this jump. Oh, hey, buddy. Oh god. Oh god, am I gonna Oh good he died. Am I about to drop dead here? Oh there he is. Come here, bud. I don't know how many stem packs I got, but you get one. Need some ten mil ammo. Are they all dead? Seems like it. Alright, let's go get Piper. You play Skyrim Legacy of the Dragonborn mod? I have not yet, but that is on my like bucket list. Like uh, one of my next Skyrim playthroughs is definitely going to play with that. <clears throat> the great green jewel. Diamond City is a place where everyone knows everyone, and no one talks to anyone. Get used to this town. For all its faults, everything comes here Useless. or leaves here. Is this scene just broken? This vanilla game scene? Piper. You can't stop the press, uh, but they try. They try. What is going on here? Uh, oh, is it because it's nighttime? Let's do. I've never seen this happen. Let's find an interior cell we can go into. Oh, yeah. Holy cow, little chief. Thank you. Thank you for the huge donation. That's awesome. You know, I, I don't say it often because uh, I'm, I'm just, I, I feel like most people who donate are, are regulars and they know this spiel, but just so you guys know, and anybody who donates to this, all the, any money you guys send me just goes into the pool to help fund the dev costs of, uh, of all this, because we end up, we have a surprising amount of random costs, like servers for the, uh, for the forums, and like, uh, one of the craziest costs we have, which I never expected, was because a lot of people turn on uh, email notifications with um, our forums and our forums are so active, the we have to pay like we have to pay for a um, an anti-spam service to both keep our forums from getting overwhelmed and to keep us from getting on the black on the spam list because uh, uh, how much email that goes in and out of our server. But uh, so stuff like this helps with that a lot. So thank you so much. 
All right, I'm trying to find it. Why can't I go in anywhere? Give me an interior. Is this not a real cell? This is just a wasted building. Somebody's got to use somebody. Some mod has to use this, right? All right, let's. I just want. Uh, let's find a chair. Maybe we can at least pass some time here. Jerry Cook with the donation. Thank you. Uh, all right, King. I'm gone. Well, let's cross our fingers and hope other mods or CC content don't break anything. I'm gonna go try other things now. Well, hopefully you found out right away if uh, if Jake's in the back. That's a good starting point. Oh, here we go. Here's a bench. I'll wait till the weather passes. I'll try at noon. Choo choo. If you're gonna play Envy, I would recommend uh, trying, but not necessarily for a whole playthrough. Is uh, Wasteland Defense and Real Time Settler? They're basic. They're like basic settlements. Yeah, don't a lot of people um, accuse Bethesda of stealing real-time settler to make settlements for, for Fallout 4? Quantum, do you anticipate Bethesda might do any bug fix in the next-gen update? I doubt it. I am certainly hopeful. Um, I have submitted detailed bug reports with reproduction steps in vanilla for most issues that we know about for Fallout 4. Um... The one I haven't been able to reproduce vanilla is the power grid bug, unfortunately, but um, you know, we know exactly how it happens and we've got multiple F4C fixes. Is this just Hey Piper? A bit busy. I'll talk to you later, Blue. Do we just have broken vanilla quest? Like on the main line? Everything outside the wall ain't safe. That's just All right, let's let's go somewhere far where this unloads and try our luck again. That's crazy. I've never seen this quest break. Yeah, I'm I'm hopeful, Quantum, that they that they do some fixes, um, because there's like a couple of like fundamental problems. Um, the nav mesh bug we discovered with interiors, the power grid bug and settlements are the two two that jump to mind now. That they're just uh, just really really bad. I would also love to see them expand um, the script data limit, expand the um, expand the mod space for Xbox players. That's the one I I don't think is going to happen. We've kind of gotten by speaking to some, like, in the Bethesda, like, public server, they, they've said that it's very unlikely that that's going to happen because of reasons. Um, so I'm not confident that Xbox players are getting any more space, but anyone yeah, can dream. But I'm uh, I'm really hopeful that they will fix those other things I mentioned. And then the there's um, this thing in coding that they have to do called garbage collection, which basically... Uh, frees up your memory for things that aren't used anymore, and I and I guess the garbage collection for Papyrus, which is the scripting language we get to use for mods, is really really bad, super buggy, and super slow, and it can cause all sorts of, of uh, performance issues. And there are F4C solutions that fix it, so it's fixable. So it'd be hope I would hope to see them incorporate something like that as well. But again, the problem, the reason that they might not do some of these really low-level fixes is because it could require them to do a full QA pass of the entire game again, which they probably can't afford to do. So that is one of the reasons we might not get many bug fixes. Like, we'll get, like, little tiny things. But but hopefully, the hope, my hope is that they have to do a full QA pass anyway if they're doing such a low-level engine thing. That's what I'm hoping for. And then they'll be able to do some of these. Hey, there it goes. It, it started up. Stop playing around, Danny. I'm standing out in the open here for crying out loud. Jerry Cook, thank I've you again. Says Jake did in fact spawn. Quest seems to work. Oh, that's Sorry. great news. I'm just doing my job. Ooh, just doing your job. Kind of how would big game, big day of gaming, get you save files? Whoa, um, you can Ooh, email them to me at simsettlements at gmail.com. Piper, saying that article you wrote was all lies. The whole city's in a tizzy. You open this gate right now, Danny. Uh, starting from here, I downloading the Xbox One version of SS2 to test the issues. Jake's not appearing at the start. So yeah, basically people are doing like a, a, a fresh I save and building open the beacon up. and he never shows up. And I guess that's uh, with the UFO4P, even with it correctly sorted in load order, it's apparently yeah. happening. But I don't know what version the Diamond City, right? Jerry was on when this happened. 
I just got here, but yeah. Shh. Play along. Uh huh. You hear that, Danny? You gonna open the gate and let us in, or are you gonna be the one talking to crazy Myrna about losing out on all the supply? Jeez, all right. I need to make it personal, Piper. Give me a minute. Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. So there's this uh, system in Fallout 4 for camera angles. And this camera angle uh, is like a nice wide shot that uh, I always want to use for Sounds different good. things. Let's go. And for some reason, they've got Every some of these camera angles city. like hard coded into specific locations. And we can't seem to add new camera angles. Like if we create new uh, versions of the files they use, Piper, it's, it's really let frustrating. Your inside. I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. You devious, rabble-rousing slanderer. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer Ooh, scrapped that a for parts. Mr. McDonough? Tyrant mayor shuts down the press. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the... Uh-huh. Always believe... Oh, I... Welcome to... All right, don't that's let right. I can skip dialogue now. Here we go. I'm sure your city's... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? My son, Sean. Wait. Uh, don't listen to Diamond City. Well, sure. And a mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Oh, I'm sorry. I don't. <laughs> this is I've had enough my, of this. My paper. charisma of one now didn't on, quite get there. You and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. <laughs> Mmm, a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. You feel honored yet? Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um, stop by my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. So do I have to do her, uh, little story? Is that how I get her as a companion? Or is it, uh, easier than that? I mean, that's fine. I was just asking, answering a few quick questions with her. All right. Uh, let's head on in. I think that's all you gotta do. Or do you have to advance your character quest with the, uh, um, what's his name first? With uh, going to going to Nick's office. Terrible sound. Read all about it. Anyone is one of those things. I hear there's a bar in the old theater district with the waiters only. Is this it? It's greenhouse. Here we go. Told you your luck wouldn't last forever. Wait, how did I get the Freedom Trail quest already? Was that just a random encounter that I scored that? Oh, Nick. Something wrong? Another stray coming in from the right. Watch your interviews while we can be companion. Awesome, awesome. Afraid you're too late. Office is closed. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. It's important. You don't get it. The detective, he's gone. Missing. Don't worry, I can help. Tell me what happened. <sighs> Nick was working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman. Ah, okay, you always get it. Got it, hideout buddy. in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there that they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. Uh, peer peers in chat 69.5 forwarded the bizarre vanilla fix from King Gas Chapter 3 location fix. Which uh, which location can't be targeted? Because there were there were two. I made two fixes to locations because they were 
wrong. Um, I hate to rush like, you. Uh, it's Milton, hey, I'd love to help. Milton General Hospital and Mass Fusion Containment were both using the wrong I'll pay you if you location find record, and we happened to use to both of them tax. as objectives That's the for the assault and system. It's not like, it was just like the, we had no idea that that was going to be like that. And then when people started testing, it was like, well, those two locations don't work. They both happened to have the wrong location record associated with them. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. And, and I figure since we're we're spot. low in the or we're yes, I'm making uh, those little fixes up. wouldn't really negatively Please impact anybody. Hurry. But it, very very bizarre that Bethesda made that mistake. Although I think both of them were alphabetically, you can see why it was basically like somebody there just misclicked, and because they don't make much use of a location records, nobody noticed. Yeah, the gravel place was one, and then um, I think. It's it's Milton General or Mass Fusion Containment Shed. One of the two is is, is set to Milton or vice versa. I don't remember which one it was, but there were two locations we use, and they were both had the wrong record associated with them. So I went ahead and just put the fix right into SS2 to the SM since, like I said, we're uh, we're high enough in the load order for most people that it will go unnoticed. Uh, Grand Vance, do you think it's possible to meet grabbing the MLCC note from my inbox before finishing Rise of the Commonwealth could have stopped MC to going Sequest? No, no, those are completely Glad independent of each other. They Did wouldn't impact happen? each other at all. In fact, the MLCC note, um, you're you're supposed to be able to get access to Charlotte like right away. Like you could tactically do that quest as soon as you launch the game. Yeah, holding up. Look, I'm just gonna say it. You're a vault dweller. You might not be wearing the blue jumpsuit, but the Pip Boy. So uh, and Sea to Glowing Sea actually can start oh, before Commonwealth that? Rising. Sea to Glowing Sea, I think, can I'll start I'll come with you. after you Watch complete. You um, get used to the what's the name of that quest? There's a quest in. So, right after you finish How to HQ, Jake says, like, meet me by the Comrade or something, and then he does a little quest. And then sometime after that, you can unlock Sea to Glowing Sea. All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. So, I know you're from a vault. My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the Ah, sorry, I'm right. Oh, cool, Wait. thanks. That's helpful. <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are... Yes. I'm over 200 years old. <laughs> oh, my God. But yeah, I, I might have... Sorry, I'm right. I might have to make, like, a... So once we fa find all the location... Well. Bugs that Bethesda made. We might, for the sake of this system, we might have to like put a uh, ESP patch out. That's like an optional file that fixes them all, so that way people can put that at the bottom of their load order. I don't know how that would impact what you're doing, though. Maybe that wouldn't work for you. Honestly, see. That's surprising. now. I already know you're looking for your son. Uh huh. Sure sounds like they might. Not even. Uh -huh. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to. No idea what I'm answering. <laughs> it's been so mm -hmm. long since I've actually played this right. quest. Sure. What would you say to someone else? No matter how much you want to give A strong note to end on blue. Thanks. That's everything. Anyway, I agreed to come with you. Okay, let's go. Hey, Piper. Heading my way? Sure, let's go. Will do. Alright, so now you guys are saying at some point here... Sorry, boy. She should start running away from me. Home. That's what's happening for some of you guys. All right, we'll send him to sanctuary with all our buddies. I recorded the message to his daughter already. I've been holding off on getting the last person at HQ, waiting for the quest to trigger. Uh, also, you haven't done uh, doctor in the house yet. I don't know if that's a requirement. Let me. I could check that. I, that might be that. That's like a requirement of it too. Um, let me check and see if I can check that real quick. For you. I actually have all the um, the scripts open right now on my other screen because if I'm not playing the mod, I'm probably working on it. Um, oh, let's see here. C to glowing C. Where are you hiding? All right, I'm gonna do a quick check because now I'm curious about what the requirements are. C to glowing C. All right, it looks like C to glowing C starts, let's see, it's MQ20, so the quest ID is MQ25. After it's completed, it starts a 24 hour timer. 
and then that triggers uh, C to glowing C. But hold on a second. There is a... Okay, good. That is set up correctly. Say so we added a new variable because we had, in the last patch, we had to set up fail conditions for C to glowing C and remote management because there is a sequence of events now. If you just didn't finish those quests for a long time, they would become impossible to finish. Um, but you would not have hit that yet. So yeah, it doesn't, it should have started. Hey. Where to? Oh, okay. All right, we got Piper now. Let's see if she does her craziness. Big, loud, full of corrupt officials. Oh, this is the sequence. Don't move, Sim. What have you done with the real Riley? Where's my brother? I swear, I'm not a Sim. Don't shoot, for God's sakes, we're family. If I just blow this guy away, do they aggro me? Put the gun down, now. He's a Sith! He'll kill us all! I oh, Kyle, no! no. Diamond City beat me to it. Diamond okay. City Security beat me to it. Oh, don't mind me. There are no synths in Diamond City. Hear Just me? doing some quick... Just you folks in your damn paranoia. Hey. He pulled a gun on me. My own brother. Uh, yeah, Grand Advance, it should have already started based on what I'm seeing there. As soon as... It's 24 hours after you complete the radio thing. You're safe now. That's all that matters. I'm I'm not a synth. I, I uh... Mm-hmm. Okay, let's see. Find Nick Valentine, Road to Freedom. Man, we got all the quests now. Yeah, we're not going to explore combat zone. Listen to Jake's private frequency. I need you to step away, Scout. Is this What's everyone still standing around for? Go back to your own damn business. <laughs> What's everyone all standing around for? I like that. This has been a pre recorded message. Message repeats. All right. Yeah, some well, well, well. All right, let's go check on then Jake, because that is kind of like, uh, I think this is the pattern we're going to follow here is we're just going to keep doing SS quests as long as they're available, and then when there's when there's a break, instead of sleeping or waiting, I will uh, go do vanilla quests to try and keep us moving along with all the factions so that we can, but when we eventually get to Chapter 3, this would be interesting if for the first time I play Chapter 3 on cameras on Xbox. I don't know if that'll be the case, but... my chap but are you certain about the church sure why not i mean it's not like anyone else is using it oh may the lord bless you for your kindness uh, okay then well just let me know if you need anything excuse me howdy slick good to see you again who was that again huh oh you mean the all right i, I fixed it That's somebody it. had reported in our Found last bug fix live that this little bit of lines, these these uh, few lines nice here guy. were missing from my. Help me move the crate back here. He asked if I knew anywhere he could set up a church, so told him about the place across the road. Guess we're neighbors now. How are things going? Not bad, not bad. As you can see by the crate, I managed to get the com hub back. Although it wasn't easy, let me tell you. I've got the hub inside if you'd like to see it. I'll take a look, sure. All right, follow me. There it is. Ain't she a beaut? Although sadly not ready for service just yet. In fact, I couldn't even turn it on. But I have been able to give the old gal a good going over. Got a rough understanding of the hardware. You've got my attention. Well, judge... Mm-hmm. Which makes sense, really. Uh-huh. Now, if we could get... Uh-huh. Well, tell me about the options. Well, for example, remote management, mass software update. Now, to you, that last thing... So I think it's in our... Sorry, Jake. We got we got lots of quests to complete. I'm on board. In order to get things... And I'm afraid my little... However... Go on. Concord, we get some real... That is... If I'm on it. 
I knew you'd help. You'll have to discover it once you're down there. Okay. Let me start the reactor. Now, and I'm guessing we're going to run into uh, the frequently reported that our, our little camera sequence has been broken for ages, and we have no idea why. Alright, heading on through here. Whoa! I'm gonna roll and drop from this here. Get off me. Right, you gonna you gonna join in, Piper? Oh man, it runs. I forgot I was supposed to buy ammo too. Got distracted by the uh Oh hello. This is for you. Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> fake, fake hole in the gate there. <gasps> Hello, friend. These are for you, since you didn't accept my grenade. Give me the chems. Get up there. Oh, there's some bricks I can walk under here. Here we go. Oh, almost had it. Almost had it. Or is this like intentionally? You gotta. Is this like a? You gotta have. No, there it goes. I say, do you gotta have a uh, power armor jump jet or whatever it's called? The uh, the jetpack. Okay. Here. Take it. Oh, that well, ten millimeter. All right. The old legendary rad roach coming at us. Hey, but, oh my God, he's fat. Nope, roaches. Thought we might be in danger. All right then. Carry on a bag of cement. That's useful. Hello. <laughs> oh. What was that? Roaches versus uh mole rats. Okay, coming through here. I guess this place doesn't get a whole heck of a lot of money. Hello, Mr. Meyer Quest of Victory Lab is heavily broken. I literally just played through that yesterday. Uh-oh. What is broken now? I I, remember I played through it and I complimented uh, Sag who implemented it for how well it's paced. So I don't think that that is a universal bug. It sounds like there's... Um, must either be a sequencing thing or like depending on what your options were different from what I did because there's a a lot of different paths through chapter three through the with certain characters oh that's not what I wanted I want to click the button Just 
Did we? Yeah, I thought I missed something over here. Okay, we've got power. I think we got another level up too. What do we got here? No more ranks for existing stuff. Let's see, that's 11, 18, it's gonna be a while. 15, 18, oh man, some of these are quite a ways down. All right, well, when in doubt, grab bloody mess. Anything major fixed for 300N? Um, nothing major. We're definitely getting into like, we're getting into the difficult to, uh, to mess with bugs, which is where, like, this is why we end up needing to stop hot fixing eventually, because it gets to the point where everything is too complicated to do quickly. Um, we're under conquered proper yet? The, let's see, what was the, I modified some of the code that deal, oh, I know what I fixed that's probably irritating a lot of you, is sometimes when you're doing um, assaults and you get either people stuck under the world or reinforcement lines and you'll get like one guy will show up every 30 seconds. I think I fixed that so that everybody will show up at the same time. It might teleport them because the nav mesh is so unreliable we have no choice but to do that. Occasionally just gotta do just issue a teleport order. In fact that's what the base game does a lot of times. That's why you get people on the roof at Sanctuary because it's just it can't figure out what to do with them so it just teleports them all there. Um, so we have to kind of do the same thing. That's the, probably the biggest fix so far. Because, yeah, that's that was really irritating. It was really dumb. It makes the fight week worse, and it takes forever to have to wait for all those. So it was something I wanted to fix. Ironically, I only started approaching that because, uh, Choo Choo, you had given me a... Uh, oh, yep, see that? Animation's still broken. Niher, did you ever get a chance to take a look at that? <laughs> it is still broken. Um... The uh, choo choo you had sent, you had posted a report about uh, um, about that kind of thing happening with the NPC kept that the NPC kept like disappearing, and so I assumed that that was related to the same thing. It turned out your save was corrupt, but anyway, it got me to put in the effort, so <laughs> it was a good save corrupt, a good corrupt save to have. You should have all the power you need now. Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> Maybe you cut it for I Xbox. I think I, I very well may have, but it would be so interesting to know. PC players, those. is the animation but still the playing? Is this an Xbox only thing with the power. lights coming on? I could have sworn a lot of people were reporting it on PC too. So the next step. Next step but yeah, is, I, there would be definitely be a thing I would cut on Xbox because right, it's not required. Let's power in this thing up. Now let's see here. But yeah, I think when I first brought it up to you, it was because somebody said that it wasn't working at all, and I okay. knew they were a PC player. Connect this there. But somebody here can confirm. Back. PC players, last time you completed well, 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 did you get the little animation where your camera flies through the air and uh, we're ready to give this uh, a you see the lights, or you hear the lights turning on? I think they auto turn on because of... Uh, <laughs> uh, of uh, okay. issues with us um, exactly. enabling and disabling things in multiple chapters. That was interesting. Yep, yeah. that's certainly one way to put it. <clears throat> to be honest, Pwn Trigger Forty Seven. I don't know why, but I can't get soldiers to level up on assaults. Oh, so we found out today. Somebody pointed out. Well, yeah, I think it was in the stream. You guys pointed out. There's a mod that changes the. Um, the amount of uh, uh, time it takes for training to work. If you have that mod, apparently it breaks the soldier thing. It probably I'm also sure just breaks a lot out. of Chapter 3 mechanics because I bet they're two. overwriting hey, script properties on one of our core quests. Clean a few tubes. It might be enough. Uh-huh. I know it may not seem like it. Right. Don't worry. I haven't lost faith in you. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, wait. Before you go. Here. Take this. There we go, Jerry Defense Mods. Now we can go solve pre uh Sturgis's quest. Started one. Now I've not had but what you have there. Uh-huh. It's Thank you, Jake. But by making the chain after that is Sounds good. I'm gonna be Thanks for you. 
Okay. That should complete well, well, well. People instantly rank up to rank three. Ugh. That's no good. I think the, the training in general, I think, has uh, a bug in it right now. Because I was also told that you can't currently rank soldiers even in combat past rank three. Which is weird. Because we had that working really well at one point. And, and that's like one of those systems that was... I didn't have to change much from uh, from Conqueror because it always worked pretty good in that. Uh, okay, let's go finish the first step now that we got our jury rigged plot. Yeah, and those and those kind of bugs are kind of on the back burner right now. While I focus on all the showstoppers on the quests, and then I'll start going back through but uh I, I said this in one of our group in one of our uh, discord chats with the team members of like i'm gonna uh, as much as i'm gonna want to like take a break and play starfield i'm gonna feel too guilty knowing that there's all these bugs so there's it's very unlikely you guys uh, uh that i actually take a, a long break i'll take like a couple of days off to play and then i'll be back at back in the papyrus trying to work bugs out uh, okay, let's build some. I'm glad to see that uh, Piper's not running away, for for the sake of this playthrough. Uh, I'm bummed for the sake of you guys who are having such an issue, because I would love to be able to replicate it. Hip no fish, thank you for the subscribe. All right, and then of course my favorite place to always put these down over here. Claim that build limit. And as you guys can see, the um, the build limit doesn't get touched a ton when you keep, um, uh, what do you call it? When you have uh, all the clutter and stuff turned off. Like that is the vast majority of build limit usage on Xbox. So if you want to uh, build a lot of plots just for the mechanics, and turn off the performance and stuff, and you, know, you should be able to build quite a few even with build limit remaining on. All right, why do we only have eight beds? Did I only build eight residential plots? I guess that makes sense. That's all the quest objective would have been for. And now we can build a multi-person. So, oh, we also have the problem with uh, uh, Preston doesn't become assignable right away. All right, let's go in and build ourselves a multi-person. Add you to our little housing zone over here. Wait, is that another? I thought that was a agricultural plot, but. It is just because we're on Xbox. We don't have place everywhere to cheat it. I gotta, I gotta do legit placement here. So Starhammer, you're saying that just with UFO 4P current version, it breaks Jake. That's interesting. I'm curious. I'm really curious what they would even be messing with that would impact that. Like that might actually be a. I want, I'll have to go look at their latest. Uh, let me put that on my notes. I'm gonna have to go look at their latest, like the last few patches, to see if they did some more tweaks to the workshop script. Well, even if they did tweaks to the work, well, I guess it could be maybe they're editing some. So there's a bunch of workshop scripts. There's like 15 of them or something, um, and we only really mess with four of them. And maybe they're messing with another one that's related to this stuff indirectly. Um, okay, so let's put in my notes. Check out UFO for P as culprit for no Jake. Actually, I'll probably uh, DM. Uh, Somebody about this as well. Somebody who can fix it a lot quicker than I can research it. Do that now before I forget. Mr. Arthmore, I got something for you. And there 
was actually just talking with him this morning. Actually, is he still is he still working on uh, UFO four P or is he only on the Skyrim one? I can actually remember. Got work to do. Can't talk now. Okay, and then how is our defense looking? Oh, I bet we don't have an. Do we have not enough jobs to send everybody to those? Oh, there they go. It's just a little impatient. Defense 43 should be plenty. Still one home short because of Preston, who probably won't auto assign. Um, okay, so that should have been enough to trigger a sanctuary quest. That's more than enough defense. Does the do plots not satisfy the the defense thing for that? Maybe I need to build one uh, turret. There it goes. Yeah, it just it doesn't. <clears throat> excuse me, I'll have to put that on the notes too. Did not know that because I remember when it uh, when we had this for SS1. I remember solving that, and then I was like, oh, I don't have to do anything for SS2. But apparently, that's not true. Um, let's see, Marshall plots not satisfying Sturgis. Don't mind me, I am just typing a message to Earthmore. Alright, there we go. Hopefully the UFO 4 bug will be sorted soon, or he can at least point me in the direction of what it is, and then I can change something in Workshop Framework to get around it. Um, okay, so now I need to probably talk to Sturgis. Where are you, buddy? You are very close by. Okay. Thanks for doing that. We'll all sleep better at night knowing we have some defenses set up. It's been a long road. But yeah, I think... Uh-huh. I was glad to help. Well, I appreciate it. Of course you know you're welcome anytime. My door's always open to you. Windows too. Some of you know if there's anything I can do to lighten the load. Or, you know, if you need anything proofread. You need to carry some stuff? Are you gonna play Lydia for me? Sworn to carry your burdens. Um, okay, what should we do next here? Yes, do Minutemen next. So, Corvega. Uh, let's see, that's right. Yeah, I guess closest is Great Garden. All right. Oh, that's oh, it's pretty late. I guess I should not go into Corvega, which could take me an hour. Um, this has been a good, hell of a good run. I can't believe how far we've made it with pretty minimal issues. Um, like some little things I want to smooth out, some some stuff I didn't anticipate on Xbox, and then otherwise, most of my notes are actually just from talking to you guys. So pretty, uh, pretty good run tonight. Uh, I'm gonna get us close to Corvega. 
and then I will uh, and then I will save it and call it for the night. So one more um, one more stream before Starfield. I'm still not sure what I'm going to do when Starfield's out. If I'm going to stream a second playthrough of Starfield, because I absolutely will want my like personal playthrough to be not talking, just just playing. I might play a little bit on stream, talk about ideas for mods and stuff. I'm not sure, or I might just go keep playing some settlements. It's possible I will resurrect my uh, original SS2 playthrough. I kept all the saves and start playing through chapter three after Starfield comes out and do that on stream during those Wednesdays. Um, but I'm fairly certain, like we are, we are not, I won't say we're out of hotfix season, but we're out of bug fix live season because there's, <clears throat> there's just not enough I can do in those short little windows while talking with you guys to make it worthwhile. Um, so if we do those again, it'll just be because I'm, because I'm short on time otherwise. And, uh, but, uh, but yeah, this was a good this was a good run. So Xbox players, you can definitely use it, but apparently you can't use unofficial patch right now. Uh, we'll start spreading the word. Any of you guys who are forum regulars, if you guys want to start spreading the word that there's a bug with it right now, uh, to help those poor Xbox players to get saves going. I don't know if uninstall like you definitely don't want you cannot uninstall that mod. It's too deep. It's like uninstalling some settlements or an SS2. It's too dangerous. Your save is nuked. So as of right now, they either have to pause and wait for a patch from UFO4P to resolve this. Um, I might, if I can figure it out tomorrow, I might put a tool on the hollow tape to resurrect those saves, but I would tell people, anybody on Xbox, um, if you haven't had Jake show up, you probably just need to hold tight uh, until myself, until we can get a patch out, either us or UFO4P. I imagine we'll solve this tomorrow, though. So it was good to learn about. Um, let's go ahead and save this. Thank you guys all for joining me. Thank you for the many donations. You guys were very generous tonight. Uh, and yeah, I will, uh, catch you guys next Wednesday. And like I said, I expect uh, a hot fix tomorrow.